happy dinner. Carl and I were just talking for all those who were, who were watching. We were, boy, man, we, we fixed the gossip we had. <laughs> the stuff that we know, we, we just, we couldn't record that. So you guys watching this, you got to come early to see these things. Hi, Bob. Bob and Robert. Robert and Robert. Sort of. What the heck is that? Bob, is that a cruise ship? At the coast oh. of Concordia. He's got he's got a category tonight, so it must mean something. It's not. There's a person standing up there. I don't think so. Yeah, there is. I see him right there. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Where are you talking? There's a person down in the water too. You. There's a person on the top on the side. But the top of the picture. Oh yeah, I never noticed that. Wow, that's bizarre. What's that it. orange thing next to it? Is that, that a lifeboat or? Yeah, I think that's a lifeboat that didn't make it off because it's got the living. Angle. And then there's a guy on a jet ski. What? Right in the center. Guy on a jet ski. God, Rob, this is your picture. You guys are looking at it larger than I ever looked at it. It's not that large. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I just blew it up to my screen. Oh yeah, now I see it. A human yep. being in there. Uh, it looks like a jet ski. Yeah, and that is a guy. Looks, I could even make out some kind of like a hard hat on him on the ship. So they're out there trying to figure out what's going on with the. Oh, trying to. <laughs> he's going to write it. The guy. Had, that's had why the guy's it, yeah. standing on the right. on the bottom. Put some he's, weight over there. He's got his weight on. He's going to go down towards the end. He's going <laughs> to lean way over in the hopes that maybe the boat will write itself. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. Hello, Mr. Flockmeister. Where's the chickens? Where's the flock? Hang on. I just setting up. He's setting up. He's yeah, got his piece I, of paper. I had He's to switch it. over from my Bluetooth. What's on your hat? Hmm? Oh, that's my, I'll show you. It's this. Oh, ah. who's I Stephanie Miller? Oh, it's a show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, um, um, She's six. She comes on at six o'clock your time. She's in in the LA in the LA area. She's oh, a big it, liberal. Is it TV or is it like a podcast? No, no, it's ra radio, radio show, um, free speech TV, internet, Sirius XM, all those. Yeah, we still get one of those. The radio outlets are dwindling down. We still get Chicago. I can listen to AM Chicago, uh -huh. but I've got Sirius, so I mostly do that. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Julie gonna make it? Uh, I don't know. She's currently working on a project. So we'll see if she can pull herself away from it. Well, she's got her chair back there. So it's either she's... it's gonna be Julie or it's gonna be Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I hope it's we can not talk Clint to the chair. Hi, I, chair. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Look, Ben, hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? You brought one with you. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I finished Project Hail Mary. But Gosh! Rachel, and sometimes it good. might be Jordan. My oh, we kids the don't have school tomorrow, those punks, so they get to join me tonight. <laughs> oh, wait, they have school, so they get to play trivia? That makes no sense. No, I said they don't have school tomorrow. Oh, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah, they're off. They have. I think they are off Monday, too. They got a four-day mm -hmm. weekend. Is it President's Ooh. weekend, or what is it? Is that, is that what, what it is? is? Yeah. I don't President's know. I don't even pay. Mm -hmm. I don't even pay. Yeah, President's Day. I'm retired. Yeah. I'm lucky. I knew it was oh, Valentine's like Day. Rachel. Oh, where'd the chicken go? Come back, Bob. Fortunately, Project Hail Mary made me so uh, invested in hard science fiction again that uh, I'm going to have to <laughs> sign off of the call at 9 p.m. tonight. Why? Because. Yeah. Uh, because Horizon Forbidden West launches at 9 p.m. Pacific, you so can I can watch play. it on another screen. No, no, it's a it's a game. It's the sequel to a game that is some of the best hard science fiction I've I've played in a really really long time. Yeah, and the and sequel it's one of my has games. gotten pretty amazing reviews from what I've seen. Yeah, people have said it's notably better than the previous one, which I thought really? the previous one was great. 
Wow, yeah, the previous one got amazing reviews. So if this one's yeah. supposed to be better, then that's even I know. more awesome. What platform is that on? Uh, PlayStation. It's not only on PlayStation, right? I don't think it's PC either, right? I think it's exclusive to PlayStation. I think it's a PlayStation exclusive, but I don't know. I can look up. So look you up. really like Project yeah, Hail Mary? So. How long you listened to it or you read it? Yeah. Listen. Listen to it because uh, every morning I like to do some Sudoku and just kind of relax because I get up way too early mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it is the perfect thing to like listening to something is kind of the perfect way to enjoy stuff while I'm doing that. So has so. enough have enough people here uh, finally read that so that we can do a trivia category? <laughs> I don't know. I keep saying I keep thinking that we should. Uh, I told Caspian who had a hell of a long flight, and I said, um, "Was he back? No, he's still gone." Oh, you mean um, so he's he still had, in, he had a he's long still in quarantine? Reason. He's okay. still in the quarantine. He has a week quarantine in a hotel. Wait, he he got sick? No, he had. He's in Thailand. Oh, just when you arrive, you need to stay in quarantine. Okay, a week. It's a nice hotel. But he's still there until Saturday, I think. Well, wow. and, and like we're dropping all of our mandates. Well, I'm is trying to get him. I'm trying to get him to uh, uh, watch or listen to Project Hail Mary, and he refuses to because everybody else is. Yeah. And it, I, thought, I thought his location was a secret. He wasn't going to tell anybody. Did you screw up? And you recorded too. That I'm recording. You're so recording that. Whatever. Yeah. Hi, Vincent. No, it's out there. Hi. Hi, Romero. Hi, Peggy. Hey, Susan. How are you? Amen. Romero, when are you going to finish your training? What... <laughs> I'm going to get you, Romero. You better gonna, get on it. I'm, I'm telling coming, you. Hi, Larry. Trivia if you keep picking on him for that. Yeah, I just need to do it. Um, I need to get on Facebook. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I need to. I need to. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm so, going to. Since I finished. Yeah, Kate also uh, needs to uh, complete her training. Yes. Ben? Since I finished uh, Project Hail Mary, I went ahead and, and dove into uh, The Martian because I hadn't, I'd seen the movie, but I hadn't read the book yet. So and? I'm now 22 chapters into The Martian. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like, I like Will Wheaton. He's a pretty good uh, narrator. Oh, the story's oh, so oh, good. Yeah. I don't care uh-huh. who narrated it. I it could have been my grandma. It. it was really good. Will Wheaton. Will Thank Will you. We're going to get you to listen to uh, um, Will Wheaton. Read- Read some sci-fi. Wheaton. No Wheaton. Peggy, Peggy. Me? Oh, I've already started the book. I'm 30% through. Yay. It's going to be a book club here pretty soon. Uh, it sort of is of now. Us. One of us. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to have that effect, but it's a fun read. It is. Hi, Avi. I just mean people uh, who read the book. I, I We're gonna, <laughs> somebody's going to do a trivia category on it, so some, so we better. Oh, I guess I need to read it then. God, probably, you still haven't all read spoilers. it. I'm probably going to have to just read it without the the um, audio because one of the problems with. Sorry, that's my dad. Super Mario. <laughs> His dad's got the Super Mario theme song. That's awesome. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Dad. It's me, the Sprout. Your little about, Sprout. I, I just finished Project Hail Mary. Isn't that great? It's very, very good. Leonard, we're, we're saying we're going to have to do a book club here pretty soon because there's so many people who've... Yeah. I see there's somebody here called Cat. Hello, Cat. Who's Cat? Cat's well, iPad? Cat's iPad. No, that's the secondary device for... Who is that, Bob? No. Wasn't it? Bob uses Meow Meow. Wait, Bob, something. you're muted. Yeah, I know. Well, the chicken that might room. be uh, might or might not show up because they just had to run my sister to the emergency room. What? Um, oh no! She just had a Where birthday. Is... She's not allowed to have an emergency. Yeah. Well. Was, yeah. Um. Yeah. We don't know. I guess they don't know what happened. She's having some pain behind her eye, and so. Oh, they... that's no good. Oh, no. Pain okay. behind her eye. Oh. So. If they have to wait around, he probably is going to show up by a phone, but. Um, <laughs> ah, took it to the emergency room. It's okay. You got another eye. <laughs> I got to play trivia. <laughs> really? Bob's Stop screaming. Give you? me the answer. 
Bob? Uh, so, Bob? so I, so I'm, I'm doing a, a book. Actually, the first one since Project Hemary is the Havana Syndrome because I'm going to interview the author in a live stream in a month, and I figured I should read his book about it. Oh and, yeah. Uh, so I, so I have to ask: Does your sister have? Did she hear any strange noises before she started <laughs> to have pain in her eye? Does Sarah have a? That might sound like crickets or cicadas, yeah, but I'll it's really her. a sonic see, weapon. See if See yeah. if she's been around any uh, consulates lately. Yes. Well, no, it happens in hotels and in, 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 in ho all in your house. I think private it happens house. if you just hear of if it. If you're in Washington, the Washington Mall, you could be walking and it could happen. Yep. You know what? I'm just going to bite the bullet. I'm just going to buy the the Kindle version of the of the book because because um, problem with me with the audiobooks is I can't just sit down and just listen to a podcast or something. I have to be doing something with my hands at the same time. Right. I'm the same way. And so that's why I like those because then you can go for a walk is, or, a bike have, like, or something else like that. You could seven you could, podcasts that I listen to that I have trouble finishing entirely mm -hmm. in, in a week. Well, so. once you start, the thing about it is, Avi, is once you start it, you will find a reason to <laughs> you'll go out and shovel people's snow or something, anything to make sure you keep. Yeah, you, you find a way to make time. This one, yeah, once it gets started, you're going to go, oh my gosh, he, uh, he, he actually, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to walk. I remember. Mm -hmm. If it was done this way in The Martian, but in this book, he, he's done it like modern TV series episodes. Everyone ends with something that means, oh, my God, I have to listen to what's happening. Oh, it's next. cliffhanging. Yeah, every single chapter. Well, Martian was kind of the same way. So, yeah. Hi, Kyle. Hey, hey, good evening. Hi, Carrick. Good Wait, to so see you. Did we figure out who Cat's iPad is? I keep... Hi. Hi. Is Bob, is that, is that yours, Bob? You just changed the name? You're on mute, Bob. Yeah, that's me. I guess she changed yeah, the name. That's what I thought. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the chickens they start out kind of noisy, so I mute, you know, and then they'll settle down. Then I can unmute. <laughs> like, like my cat. That happens to everybody, right? I don't even have any cats. I'm, I'm, I'm actually locked into my office now, so the cats aren't coming. Why? In. Because we have a bad kitty. She's a bad kitty. Bad kitty. Why? Yeah, we have bad? we have one and a half bad kitties, and I only have three, so she's she's been very bad, and I think it's Ooh. because we think it's because there's been a stray that's been coming around because our cats are indoor outdoor, and mm. so she's been she's been peeing on things she's not supposed to pee on. Oh, so I have had everybody who's had cats and probably dogs knows about this. Yeah. Not for chickens, so I have cleaned my office like it is clean clean and it's so nice to come into my office and not have to look for spots or it just doesn't even smell it smells good you know so my cats can be in here yeah if not, i'm in here and i can that. see them and i'm not have to do that them. like hmm maybe like yeah. maybe i have to check everything now yeah like, <laughs> i have yeah, a little black light absent. well they have spots they have a they uh, yeah. the problem kitty has to pee on something that's that's fabric so mm. she if there's a towel or mat on the floor she'll pee on it it's like oh that's my job i have to go pee on that piece of towel or something like so i'll that. try to say this so it's not a spoiler but there's one there's one line in project tell mary when he says oh my god it smells like i have a cat that peed in here you remember that <laughs> yep i remember that line nope i remember that i gotta rewatch <laughs> it I somebody's mean, gonna write yeah. it somebody i know here is gonna do a trivia <laughs> it's, it's gonna uh, be i'm bad. definitely gonna read well, it now you if, better if we're gonna do that we have to like we we honestly have to think Rain about doing more. like a spoilers like trivia night mm. where it's like spoilers only mm. so Ooh. if people don't want to mm. oh that would be hard because how would we not make sure we didn't mm. have two people do the same thing or like one person like i could write them all and they're all oh that would be mm -hmm. oh Most that would be cruel why the susan the cat is being on towels and fabric is because the fabric feels like um kitty litter if you have the cats going kitty litter no, I don't think so. I think she's no. just stressed because she's only peeing at night and she's almost only peeing at night. And she, she, it's not a, like she has a bladder problem. It's, it's a behavioral problem. It's a. Right. Yeah. But I'm saying that 
the fabric probably feels like the kitty litter. So I'm sure it's why. comfortable. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi. Good morning. Good, good morning. afternoon or night. Good evening. Yeah, good good morning, morning to you. Yes, it is. And yeah, then, Evan, I'm going to leave for a minute. I'll be back. Wait, why, why, why? Okay. Abby, I hope you don't mind. I, I copied you with the. Sprout. Oh, no, it's spreading. It's endemic. It's going to be yeah. pandemic. Yeah. Oh, hi. hi you don't there, mind Faye. that, do you? Can you no, hear me? No, the better? sprout. Well, Give, given the early. rate. Given the rate of spread, this doesn't seem like a very <laughs> contagious thing. So oh, I'm not, not worried about it. Not so far. I don't think Abby can hear me. What? I think he's zoning. Oh, I think, yeah, I, I think he's zoned out. Uh, the, uh, the, the Project Hail Mary, but <laughs> so I get it through my library. Um, you are insisting that you are not going to purchase this thing. You will not spend money on this. I, I well, I was looking at the Audible app, and there's no way to actually do a trial by just the Audible app. So well, you know what's um, really weird? I have a count on Audio. I'm not paying anything, so it was I don't know. I had it before, and they let it lapse. And I was able to sign up for 90 days free, one book a month, and then I can either pay or or cut it again, and I keep the books. So it's not hard to get free books from them. Well, I've got it set up so that it's every other month for me, and I still okay. can't keep up because I'm just I'm yeah, exactly I don't read that the much. same as Avi. I have to be like on a walk or driving a long distance yeah. or <clears> something. <throat> I have to be doing something, you know, to to listen to a podcast. And it can't be there can't be any text around me. I can't be like trying to write a letter or something. I have to be able to concentrate on it. And I'm not driving anywhere hardly at all anymore. Yeah, and, that took away a lot of my time. Oh, yeah. And I'm not, um, I'm also not, well, if I'm gardening, that's great, except that I keep running my battery low. And if I go for a walk, a lot of times I'm taking my, I'm going for a walk. I'm going every day, but I'm, I'm either trying to catch up on those podcasts that I can't keep <laughs> up on or Sterling calls me and we, and I do a walk and he does a walk or something. Hi, Julie. What are you working on? Knitting. Okay. okay. It's just red. I can't see much of anything. What is He's it? He's knitting be? something. It's gonna oh. be um a pot holder, like a hot pad. Oh, okay. This is my first knitting. <laughs> is this your new? <laughs> she's so creative. Who knows what she's gonna come up with next? Origami pot holder. No, I think that would burn really easy. Yeah, that's a little dangerous. <laughs> I don't think that would go over very well. You have yeah, to make it out of asbestos. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. What could go wrong? Yeah. I think that would probably be bad. So we're almost here. Okay, Peggy, I've given you your superpowers already. Rob, I've given you your powers already. What's the order? Uh, speaking of which, I'm about to say, I just about to say her name, and, and I looked, and it says Janine's coming in. Janine, Rob, Peggy, Gail, and Robin. So we shall... <laughs> oh, good. I need to talk to you. Well, Avi might be here for mine. If he makes a second round awake. Wow. Hi, Janine. Hi. You know you're up first, right? I am. You know you're doing a round tonight, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, good. I've got that part. Just I just didn't know what number, but that's fine. Janine, I... Um, I uh, got a hold of the Magic Castle, a historian at the Magic Castle. Yes. And I had a nice conversation with him. And he's excited that that I'm doing this project, you know, with the Jerry Andrews stuff. And he kept referring to Ask Ale Alexander. And um, I said that you guys have been approached by Al uh, Ask Alexander. That's the one, right? The one in some of the Jerry Andrews Yeah, stuff? I think so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I told him, I said that you had, but I said, you know, we're not sure... We still got some time to go, but that, you know, one of the reasons we're a little wary of ask, ask Alexander is that uh, your nonprofit, your, your organization wants to make sure things are, are open and not, you know, you don't have to pay for it. And it, it's kind of a, you know. Well, we want to get a biography written mm -hmm. and we also have artifacts not just digital documents yeah that's not gonna help and ask ask Alexander Alexander uh -huh. it's digital documents yeah so 
So we're going to have to do a category on geriatrics. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> we were just yeah. talking about we're going to do a, um, and I'm, I'm warning everybody that we're going to do this. We're going to have a category on like the Martian and Project Hail Mary. Um, I have Hail Mary audiobook on, on request. I'm waiting for it to come into the library. Did anybody, read, did anybody read his book between those two? Artemis? Yeah. I did it on Audible also. How, how does that compare? Um, it's, a, it's a female character and oh. uh, it's read by, and <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's a completely different story, not connected to anything. It's outer space, a woman, uh, a planet. Oh, and, oh, two out of three. No, the, I, I think people generally say it's not anywhere as good, but I mean, I liked it. It was, it was a mystery. Kind of. Yeah, I think it was more of a mystery, a powerful woman it had to do a space, you know, maybe a likable character, maybe not. Um, Without giving it away, was it spoilers? What, was it was it because what was at stake wasn't as much as in either of the other two movies? It certainly was not as much at stake. Yeah, that, that, um, it was it was feeling I got from the review. It had space and. And it had it was more like a mystery. It was more like a mystery. Um, like if you took an Agatha Christie and you put it right on now. another planet and you change Miss Marple to a young woman, that's kind of what it was. Okay, so a totally different genre. Oh, so Except we don't have to read it now. Yeah. Yeah, she gives away I, the whole plot. I enjoyed it. Well, put it this way with Project Hell Mary. It's difficult to listen to it again and be surprised. Even though I know Rob's probably seen it. Read, read, uh, well, the only thing is that there are things that are done early and you don't know like what he, like why. And then later you find, oh, now that, because I, I have listened to it twice. So now it makes sense why that happened then or mm -hmm. why they pointed that out then or why that came up. Yeah. Yeah, I can he, see he that. Does, he does have a little bit of that in there. But, but you know, the surprises of, the, of, yeah. of it. Yeah. All right. You can't <laughs> listen to it again and, and be have, have that same amazement, which is why we're so guarded, you guys, about not allowing anybody to get a spoiler, even a hint of a spoiler. You mean I'm not supposed to talk about the giant monster that comes in at the very end? Oh, Peggy. <laughs> it springs out of the stomach? I hope that didn't gross anybody out. I like strong women. I'm very lazy, so. Oh, so, Peggy, oh. what that, what, what? <laughs> You said who, you're who on chapter Sigourney 22. Sigourney Weaver was going to make a comeback. I'm 30% in. in, you know, because it's on Kindle and it tells you your percentage of progress. 30% like. in. Yeah. Oh, I can't even ask you if such and such has happened yet. Okay. No, don't. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I'm enjoying the ride. It's a good ride. Yeah, I think this is fun. All right. So we're getting close. Three <laughs> minutes. Where's somebody out? Carl and I were here together talking. And it got to be like 6.03. He says, we're, are we just as just us tonight? <laughs> like, I hope not. Because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do any of the categories. That's funny. Mine says 7.27. Well, oh, you live in a funny place. I, I guess so. I bet yeah, you it's it, even a different time where Carl is. It's 6.28 in the correct uh, Time zone. The current, oh, it's 27. Oh, I, I get 27. Uh, you're living you're in the future. You're, you're in the future there. I, I was rounding. <laughs> <laughs> even to, do we round only to even numbers? Oh, no, it, it, there? Was, it was six. It was six twenty-seven thirty-one. What is it, Rachel? So round it up. A little sprout. Luckily, because a little I'm sprout. On mountain time. Mountain time. I wonder if the chicken would have a sprout. If if Bob wasn't in the picture and he put on the the filter for the, <laughs> or would it not recognize the chicken as don't, a don't, face? Don't, don't make my life more complicated than it already. It would be hysterical if you could put the cat filter on the chicken. <laughs> the lawyer cat. Filter. Oh, that lawyer cat. Yeah, that yeah, was funny. Jamie, where do you live again? In um, Thailand, southern oh, Thailand. Thailand. That's right. Yeah. Okay, Rachel was asking why you said it was morning. I'm like, he's in a different country. Oh. I just couldn't remember. I know you had said it before, but I couldn't remember. Thailand, that's right. He's way, way, way in the morning. 
Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna step away for just a minute. So Robert <laughs> and Peggy and Janine, you all have the controls. I'm letting Mike in right now. Okay. So um are you learning Taiwanese, Jamie? No, I don't speak. I speak two words. Hello and thank you. Oh that's it. Yeah. Everyone, everyone where we live, we live on a small island. Um, you're close to Malaysia native. and everyone speaks English everyone mm -hmm. so we English, yeah. pretty much so um, the expat population here is extremely high uh, we get all American TV it's like living in the 51st American state we have a very American lifestyle so we, no, that we only feel Canada <laughs> with better food right with fantastic, food fantastic. Is so good well we have a um, we have a chef who who cooks for us and she delivers food to her house every day. And each meal oh. costs around $3 for a whole meal. That's my and idea of heaven. So we don't cook. So we're done. We, we have breakfast and that's it. So we haven't cooked in ages. It's nice. Mm. Yeah, Thai food is excellent. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now everyone is quiet. Why is everybody so quiet? Now it's weird. A very quiet <laughs> crowd, but I'm busy eating. <laughs> so. oh. We lost our leader. Yep. We're yeah. thinking yeah. about moving leader. to Thailand. Thailand. Yeah, and, and dreaming of Thailand. Really? $3 a meal? Yeah. Oh. Three Never $3 a meal. It's so Never cheap. Never cooking we, again? No. We, we figured out that all of our expenses, um, we, we used to, we come from Boston, and all of our expenses, are about one fifth what they cost in the U.S. Hmm. That's a better That's really, retirement plan. Oh, it's fantastic here. Uh, medical costs are around a tenth the price for medications, uh -huh. for pharmaceuticals. Food is great, but it's um, the expat population here is is excellent. A lot of um, British, Australians, Canadians, some Americans, um, but it's nice. Um, yeah, we the, the culture, the, the Thai culture is fascinating, and um, since everyone speaks English. Jamie, can um, you just live there? You don't have any requirements for immigration or anything? The only requirement, we're retired. The only requirement is if you're um, over 50 years old, you could retire here. Oh. And the only requirement, that's it. And the only requirement is um, you have to have a, a small amount of money. You have a certain amount of money in a Thai bank. You have to keep it at all times to renew your visa. That's it, oh. there's, there's nothing else. It's very simple. So, so what we, happens um, with medical insurance? We have, we have international insurance. We have great insurance. But generally, medical care here costs so little that um, we usually don't take advantage of insurance at all. For example, I was about two years ago, I was very, very sick. And I was in the hospital for a week with double pneumonia. The entire hospital bill came out to about $2,500. Oh my God. And that's with a private room and excellent food and private nurses. So um, it's, so the whole general cost of living is about a fifth of the US. And what's, as I mentioned before, what's terrific is all Americans, if you live in Thailand, you're exempt from American taxes on any American 401k plans, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So Amer Buy American- your money. Yeah, so if you have any savings in an American institution, um, a 401k or IRA, if you live in Thailand and you cash that in, um, you're exempt from U.S. tax on any 401k. Ooh, that's a good reason not to do a Roth. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, huh? That was, Hi there, terrific. Mike. No, it's a great place to retire, too. But, Jim, um, you're so far away Paisley from everybody. Your family. Brad Paisley. Yeah. Well, that's um, another we have... advantage sometimes, Susan. Oh, <laughs> But Hi, we have Kevin. A daughter. Hi, Karen. Remember, we're Our being recorded, Janine. <laughs> Our family's unlikely to listen to this. Yeah. I don't, but our daughter I don't lives in know Australia. that they would know how to get here. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sad. But with, with, you know, with Zoom and Messenger, talking to our kids, we have a son in Germany and a daughter in Australia. Well, and, that's almost, uh, you're almost closer to them. Yeah, we are. We're, we're exactly like halfway. No so harder. Easy. 
No, and we talk on Messenger, so it's, and with COVID anyway, everyone's isolated anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. If you have enough money, if you're saving so much money on your your living conditions there, then I guess you can you can travel. You know what I mean? When, when you're able hard. to travel because you've saved so much money, not. Well, actually, before Thinking COVID, of family, we here comes your sister. Oh, good. We were traveling a lot since we came here. We've traveled a lot all throughout Asia. We've done a lot of traveling until COVID hit, and I put a big stop to that. But. Supposed to be getting all your projects done. Is that a kitty cat with a cone on its head, Rachel? I mean, yeah, Rachel. Wait, all right, we're on. Uh, it's a fox with a frog hat. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a cat with a cone. It's, no. a, it's that floppy tail that gives it away, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. Hi, Gail. Hello. Your brother was just talking about I, trying to get us all talking into uh, retiring in Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> there are some advantages, apparently. Yeah. But he can apparently. Tell you, I've also heard there's some disadvantages. Oh, he didn't tell us the disadvantages. He's only telling us the advantages. The advantages. Well, he just saying, I was saying you're so far from your family. And Janine says, that's kind of a good thing in some places. <laughs> Yeah. But he said that his kids are in, in Germany and, and Australia. So that is kind of you're in kind between. Of close. And our yeah. family has always been spread all over the country. Is that right? Yeah. The summer in California, Arizona, New York. Yeah. <laughs> Were you guys military kids? <laughs> no, we no. Didn't travel a lot. Just Washington. Your son's in Washington State, right? Who was in your son's in Washington? Oh, yeah, my, yeah, my son. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. closer than his yeah. kids are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you said well, I know, close. but I mean, at least I'm in the same time zone. No. If he was, in if the he same, was in, at least uh, you're in the same country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're calling true. our kids three different times, calling our kids, uh, having group conversations when we have like uh, huge differences in time zones. It's oh, tough. Gosh. Avi's got the book. Is that what I see? Yeah. He's finally done it. Now we just got to get Caspian. What do you got over there, Rachel? I can't see. It's a tree. Tree and a boat. Yes. Oh boy, you're a lovely drawer. What an artist. <laughs> I, I couldn't do. Uh, I don't know. Do you? Do, oh, hi, Wait, Jordan. Her, her her best drawing was the one. Let's have a beer. And then so I also drew this. <laughs> What's on the head? A bun. Oh, so do you know what the game Pictionary is? You know Pictionary? Yes. yes. <laughs> we actually had a newer version called Pictionary Air, where you use like an app on your on your smartphone. Oh, figures. And it shows on your TV and you draw with like a light pen. Yep. Wow. Oh, the figures have to be fancy pants like that. Yeah, everything has to, has to have a new fancy electronic version. Apparently. I do stick oh, figures. I'm so I don't have the version yet where you just think about it and then it appears on the phone. <laughs> there there you go. That's my husband. Uh, so he kept drawing these lines. Terry, why are you like showing us your cat butt? And I was supposed to figure out that that was science. Oh. <laughs> and he says, but I was drawing field plots. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Terry's cat. Look at, her, look at her cats looking over her shoulder like, what? Are you talking about me? Yes, we're talking about you. Cat hey, butt. <laughs> it's just a cat butt. Cats like Rear. their butt. I really like, I like the flower, I think, the best. Wilma's joining us. She hasn't been here in a while. Who? Wilma. Wilma. Oh, there's Wilma. Oh, oh that's yeah, right. Yeah, Hi, Wilma. Wilma. Are you on yet? She's not there. And then she went away again. I think she's garbled. Oh, she has so much no, trouble. No, her, her microphone is muted. That's not her. Someone else is garbled. Hi, Terry. Oh, somebody else is garbled. Good to see you. Me? Yes. All right. I'll get my headphones. Is it you? Oh, yeah, it is you. Rob, you doing a category tonight? I is. Uh-oh. Hint, hint. Yeah, we've already been checking out his sign. Okay, Gail, I'm making you your co-host. I'm just doing it right now. So the only person we're waiting on is Robin, Ooh. but she's last anyway. So 
I'm going to, I'm going to rat her out and tell you that when I left work at 515, she had not figured out what her final category would be. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> So like what else will pull it out? She'll pull it out. She'll yeah. have something. So good. what else is new? She's probably thinking of it on her drive home. Anyway. Yep, she's got it all figured out by now. Oh no, I'm. I'm it'll be about round three. Cool. <laughs> She'll have her. That bonus. could be. Yeah, cool. it could be. <laughs> okay, so we're ready. Uh, I know that Adrian said she'd be here after she's finished making dinner. And of course we're waiting for Robin. So I think that's the only people that I've heard from that have said that they're going to be here, but. Who's not coming? Who? Saunders. No, he would be here by now. He was in here last week. Yeah. Oh, is he working or doing something? I didn't hear. He may be on one of his adventures. It's a different time of the day over there and he's not exactly retired. It's a different day over there. Yeah, that too. <laughs> okay, so Janine is starting off. So she's gonna go, you're in room one, Janine. Janine, Janine. Okay, Rob, group two is gonna have Rob. Oh. And group three is gonna have Peggy, you're already there. Four is Gail. And five will be Robin. So you're so whoever's in room five, you're going to be short somebody um, until then. Okay, so uh, Bob, what's what what, <laughs> what what are you guys doing in the in your Wikipedia group that you have this um, warning? Uh, you need to stay later and listen to the conversations we have about Wikipedia. <laughs> we yeah, can't touch anything recorded. right now. Yeah. Nothing happened? skeptic related right now. We're having we're in trial. We're in a trial. Why were they unhappy with you? I think uh, I felt too, too, long, too long. Too long. Story. That. Sum Later. it up while I'm finishing Later. the categories, Rob. Real quick. Really quick. Um, well, certain people take remember we're recording. Certain, yes, I'll try to do it um, judiciously. Uh, certain people take exception uh, with the with our interpretation of the Wikipedia rules for. Um, for conflict of interest and also uh, do wait. I would say that's the large, largest of it. Some people are very draconian with it. Pretty much if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, that's a conflict of interest. Uh, it's, you know, I'm slightly exaggerating, but not much. And so they try to delete articles or remove all the citations. They don't like skeptical inquire. So they're trying to remove that. And uh, it came down to, we were arguing so much about it. It came down to an actual the, thing, the closest thing to Wikipedia as a trial, it's, a, it's called arbitration committee uh, proceedings. And people are, are charged with evidence is brought, then discussions about the evidence happens. And then the arbitration committee makes decisions about what's going to happen to the individuals and perhaps policy changes. So we're in the middle of that. They're actually in the decision phase right now. And it's, it's myself, Rob, and the whole GSOW team, even though they don't know who we are, <laughs> They don't know who they are. Well, they don't know who some of us are. Well, they, they've, they've outed like 10 people, maybe mm -hmm. something like that. But yet they thinking they might put sanctions on the whole team somehow. I don't know. It's it's a long story, but it's been going on since it started in early November. And now this trial started in January. So it was supposed to be have something done by Monday, last Monday. But they decided to wait another week because they're busy or something. One, two, three. Four, you think that five. there that there's a, there's a chance that you guys will have be uh, the finding will be the verdict will be found against you guys? Yeah, there's some chance of yeah. that. Yeah, but I think that any of the measures sanctions they put on us would be temporary, like a month or something like that. You know, and I think it, it will end up being stronger at the end of this. It'll it'll actually turn out to our benefit, I think, and. Um, our training right. will get better. We'll be, it's like, we're going to start off with a clean slate. So if they do give us sanctions, it'll be like, okay, well, you know, so one, some one of, the, one of the proposals is to force Susan to not do this on Facebook and to do all of the conversations about this group with, between this group and between all its members on a Wikipedia site. And, uh, that ain't happen. And it can happen. So I don't know what's going to happen if they demand that. They can't force me to do anything, to be honest just, with you. So just hold, just hold dummy conversations on there and continue the real stuff on Facebook. Right. Well, that's part of the thing. They don't know. Even if they make somebody do that, you're right. You don't know who's emailing who. There's no way to prove that. So it's, mm -hmm. it would be a ridiculous thing to try to enforce. 
they say, you guys are amazing. You're doing fabulous work. You're just so, you know, all so great. But I don't like that you, Susan's a fellow of CSI. So anything that you write about skeptics is biased or it's, it's a conflict of interest because I'm a fellow. It's like, uh, don't work like that. And the other problem is, is that they, okay. there are people out there say, you guys don't do very good work. And I'm like, well, we've written 1900 Wikipedia pages and there's no list of all our pages. So I don't, I'm not quite sure how you know how, what kind of work we do, considering we've written over, a, I think we're at 1,100 pages in English. So until you've reviewed those pages, I don't think you have grounds to tell us how we are good or bad. But anyway, another conversation, but that's what's going on right now. So but, Deborah's but just Susan, joined us. Hmm? Susan, that's Neither. because you are a fact-based, Person, if people are not interested in the facts and are simply looking for things to confirm their biased opinion, what you're saying will not make sense to them. That's true. And Karen's right. Absolutely. One of, one of, I can say this really quick is that like one of the things against me is, is that I wrote the Ray Hyman Wikipedia page in 2012. And so people are saying, oh my gosh, she wrote the Wikipedia page for, for Ray Hyman in 2012 and she's a fellow and he's a fellow and that's bias and la, la, la. I didn't become a fellow until 2018 or 2000, late 2017. So they haven't even done the basics to say, you know, how could I have had a conflict of interest in 2012? You have a retroactive bias. <laughs> yeah, but nobody's, they haven't even... That didn't even dawn on them to think that way. They didn't say, oh, we should do a little research and see when she got this fellowship. They're just giving me a blanket uh, conflict they, of interest. They assume that the fellowship was the result of some long-standing relationship. So although you didn't become a fellow until 2018 or 16 or whenever it was, I, I should remember, uh, oh. you were still associated with the organization back in 2012. It you cheated like by this. time traveling. Yeah, I was associated, but I was as associated almost as much as any other skeptic would be. I mean, I attended. It was pretty loosely associated. Very loosely, time. yeah. I you attended know. some events. I had, toolbox. Uh, I had read his book, or actually, I hadn't read his book. But well, what's yeah, the yeah, beef with really CSI, good. though? Hmm? What's the beef with CSI? Why can't you be affiliated with it? Well, they're just saying that you're biased. Oh, it's not a question of not being able to be affiliated. Like they're not saying you're biased. They're saying you're knowledgeable about the subject you're writing about. And you're the, that, right? you want the distinction. Who doesn't know anything to write. The, these. the distinction between yes, Karen, that's being right. knowledgeable and uh, having a conflict of interest is uh, difficult to ascertain. Or, yeah, Especially and we've read the you're rules about getting factual information about something. We've read the rules many times, and, and what we're doing is not. Yeah, well, and factually, there is at least one editor, maybe more, but there's one that's out about it, that she does not believe skeptical inquirers are a reliable source of information. Like Susan should not be quoted on psychics because she doesn't write in scientific journals that are peer-reviewed. So why should that be on Wikipedia? That, that's actually something that keeps getting said. It's like, well, because scientists don't write about mediums because they know they're freaking fake and they're not going to spend money doing surveys on them. Anyway, so we're going to start. That same argument would say that you couldn't you couldn't cite anything in like the New York Times or the Washington Post or, or if you or, if you had written for the no, Washington it, it Post, there's some people say if you've written for the Washington Post, then you wouldn't be able to be a Wikipedia editor writing and editing a page about somebody else who's posting in the Washington Post because or or, or or adding any article that was written in the in the Washington Post to another Wikipedia article. Because that you, would be a conflict of interest. You have a conflict. I mean, it's just so broad. So anyway, this is going to, the, the trial we're in is going to decide all this. So anyway, oh, here comes Jane. See, I stalled and we got a couple more people that came in. All right. Fantastic. So Deborah's here. Lou is here. Hi, Lou. I haven't seen you in ages. Hi, Wilma. Hello. Who is Hello. it? Hi, Jane. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. We were, we were, we were, I mentioned something that was supposed to take a couple minutes and it took a little longer than that. We were waiting for you. Yeah. So we oh. ended up waiting for you. Hi, Deborah. Okay. So put it this way. Deborah came over to my house a few weeks ago and said, all right, Susan, I'm a half an hour early. Let's sit down and you tell me what the heck's going on with this Wikipedia thing. She says, cause I can't follow it. It's going on way too much and too long. And I'm like, 
okay, here's, and then Karen comes over. She goes, can I listen to Because I don't know if I'm supposed to know this stuff. <laughs> Very confusing. Anyway, I'm putting you in your rooms. So here we go. Um, a couple of you who came in after I've already made the little breakout rooms is going to probably have to, I'll add you in a second. So that would be Deborah. Let's put Deborah at a random place. Let's put Let's put Jane over here. My room disappeared. Oh, well, it should be there somewhere. And it's, let's put one, two, three, four, five. I have no way of going to my room, I don't think. Yeah, it's probably hidden under a, a screen somewhere. You you have power, so you should be able to go. You, you should be able to jump around as much as you feel like. Okay, well, let's see if I can. Okay. Get it? Yeah, I guess you got it because she's gone. Karen, are you there? I'm going to pause this because this is just really gripping, really gripping stuff. Hi, Susan. We're back. Hi, Peggy. We're boring, but we're back. Where's, yeah. where's Dallas? Oh, Dallas is no longer on the earth. What? Uh, Dallas, Dallas had cancer for a long time, and um, it finally caught up to us. And oh, about three oh. weeks ago, we had to give him his ticket to heaven, and um, he's no longer here. To get his wings? I think he got his wings. I don't know. He was kind of an asshole, but he was my <laughs> asshole. And I was really asshole. Is he buried in Pe Pebble Beach? No, I, you know, I stopped doing the whole burying thing, ashes thing. I have this box with my last dog in it that I still have on the bookshelf. And it's just like this little box of sadness I see, you know, it's like, I, I don't know what to do with it. So I, I didn't do that this time. I just let him go. Uh, that makes sense. I, yeah. I think that's what I would do. Oh, oh, I'm you know, sorry to hear that, over. Peggy. Yeah, that's sad. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's a, you know, it's like having an arm cut off in a way, but you know, it's, it's yeah. survivable and I'll get another dog. No, the gay. Yeah. Rachel. No. Oh, I mean, it's, you know, it's losing family. Yeah. Yeah. And it's losing family that is so yeah. tactile and, and like mm -hmm. you have so much freedom with, it's like even weirder than yeah. Almost family. Well, yeah. Yeah. George like, Carlin said when, when you buy a pet, you're buying a prepackaged tragedy. Oh. I <laughs> <laughs> would true. say that, wouldn't With it? a lot of pleasure before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. With yeah. more pleasure than, than you expected and, and more pain later. Pain oh. than you did. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, better to, it's better to have loved and lost. Yeah, I, yeah, and you get about yeah. seven to ten years, and then you're going to start over again. He said something like that. I, so. I have, I keep an old dog and a young dog. Oh, yeah, you know, I, that's used to, I used to do that. I'm never, I'm not alone. I yeah. don't, you yeah. know, I have, I have a dog grieving with me when my right. old dog passes away, which is kind of hard because. Because dogs grieve. Yeah, yeah the other dogs do. Yeah. The yeah, other dogs do what grieve. The other dog. They do. Hey, team one, it's it's. Then Rachel. she gets the the new the middle Rachel one the puppy. <laughs> yeah. all over I, again. I forgot to ask. Team five, am I the one that's going to answer everything, or <laughs> yes, all? <laughs> you just got volunteered. Yeah. So, well, all right. in an ideal situation. You stagger your pets like the emperors in the foundation TV show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, I got three cats all at the same time. They're all the same age. I remember hmm. that. Oh yeah. Well, so yeah, that means that we're about cats for rational different. shit, Susan. I'm going to say shit. Different ages. They're all, they're all about 13. Wait, I got them in 2008. So what is that? Let me do the math. Avi, can you do the math for me? Oh. They're almost 14. 14. 14. So I got a year, two, three. Hi, Lou. Yeah, good to see you. I've had cats live to 20. 
Well, yep. mine are indoor outdoors, so who knows? And and if my cat keeps peeing on stuff, she's not gonna make it <laughs> 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 live very long. I tell her I look that's, at her, I say that's, I love that's you to death. Cat. Don't look at me with those eyes because I'm gonna mm-hmm. kill you someday. You love her to death. Okay. Well, I might. <laughs> look, Lou's got a lighthouse behind him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Flashbacks. Hello. We're having flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Robin. Hi. Your Hi, your Robin. boss already told on you, so we we know. I like show? lighthouses. I just don't know shit about them. <laughs> I know. I think they're great. <laughs> but I have my category. Yeah, that's what she told now. us. She says, when you left work, you didn't have it yet. You're just a little quiet, Lou. Your I got, I got her now. I can't do anything about it. I cannot do anything about my I told him you'd be there with it. <laughs> I, I failed to believe that, Lou. I think it'll be a fun one. Somebody's got to take a look at your equipment and figure out what's wrong. My volume is up as high. We ratted you out. Huh. Mm-hmm. Think about lighthouses. They don't look so light to me. They look pretty heavy. Ha, ha, ha. All right. So here we go. Game number 94. Let's see who's going to, what the team names are. Because you know, everybody watching this video later is just so excited about finding what the team names are. That's their favorite part of the whole thing. It's like the, it's like the Super Bowl that people watch just to get to what's, the commercials. What's that? so That's what's happening. They want to, they watch our trivia game just to hear the team names and for me to does, say that. Does anyone watch our trivia game? Oh yeah. We got like 15 oh. views if on it. Everybody <laughs> in this room watched it. That would be the biggest rated one ever. <laughs> <laughs> they're for me they're for me later oh what is a super bowl about what you speak i know what you mean karen <laughs> jay diamond says I, i'm gonna come down on uh sunday you guys do you guys uh, are you into the super bowl am i gonna bug you and i'm like oh is that this weekend <laughs> <laughs> he says yeah good answer i guess i can come down anyway. said, are the mets playing <laughs> I'm like who's playing? Yeah, who's playing? I don't know. All right, so, I like the superb dowel part. <laughs> so what we're going to do right now is we're going to get the team names. That's where we're at right now. Okay, so team number one, who will no longer be known as team number one, unless of course you name yourself team number one. I'll, I'll do uh, it. Jamie, Janine, Kevin, and Larry. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, but, <laughs> is that right, the name? Right. My explanatory remark is that uh, the first couple of suggestions that we came up up with weren't kid friendly, so we settled <laughs> on the Happy Rainbow Unicorn Team. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Put it in the chat so I can just copy and paste it. Somebody, I I didn't type it. I, I just I can to. type it in. Thank you. And um, it's it's very cumbersome to type. Well, I could do it on the iPad a little easier. I I'm I'm doing it. Thank you. <clears throat> Superb owls. Yep. Are you able yeah. to copy our five Super Bowl? Superb owls. Yeah. It's all superb owls. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Stephen Colbert. That was years ago on the Colbert Report. I love Colbert. He's so funny now. Uh, you you will be forever him. immortalized Drip on, on YouTube now. Drip yeah, I'm going to try to change the team names on the room names. And I've done that in the past and it sticks and sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know why. Okay. Happy unicorn, happy rainbow unicorn team. Hi, Rachel. Okay. Hello, Rachel. I have to say hello. Karen, Carl, Rob, Wilma, hello. and Mrs. Butterworth. So this is also from Reddit. We are the defenders of the disgusting collective of dirty mole people. <laughs> you got to use the, that mole people name. I'm I so did. Proud of you. <laughs> Perfect. That's what we were called on on uh, Reddit. On Reddit. Thing, yeah. on Reddit, the GSOW team is dirty mole people. Disgusting dirty collective people. of dirty mole people. Oh, did they say disgusting collective? Yep, I wrote oh, it down. Disgusting part. collective of dirty mole people. <laughs> Run by the head mall, Susan Gerwig. <laughs> that is what we were called on Reddit. Mole yeah, that's brilliant. Mole no, people, mole, no, people. mole rats have like a disgusting queen. collective of dirty mole people. They're like the dirty is gratuitous. That was I kind of like it. What, Bob? I think that's cool. You know, I do too. Mole rats have a mole rats are kind of like 
ants or bees. They have like a queen, and then they have like drones. They they're very similar to a colonial. Yeah, but uh, they didn't say mole rats. They said mole. Yeah, people. but what kind of fits? I like your hair, Karen. That's very cute with the flowers on it. Um, Jane, yeah, Jeff, Julie, Peggy, Terry. Jeff, uh, good. Thanks. We'll just ignore the world. Hashtag self care. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> okay. Uh, I gotta pull up the breakout rooms again. It's it disappears when I write somewhere else. Okay. So next we have uh, Ben, Rachel, Jordan, Deborah, Faith, Romero, and Gail, and Kyle. Right. Wait, I have yep. Kyle on one thing, but I don't have Kyle on the other thing. Kyle, are you on this team? I am indeed. Okay. Yeah. We are the, the Moron Ram Ranch. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Moron Ram Ranch? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. What's that from? Should I know? Is this a meme? It has something to do with a convoy. Oh, <laughs> and a fake bomb threat. Okay, I I don't know the. I live I live close to Coots, Alberta, so I know some of the types of people that were down there. And <laughs> they are scary, and in fact, the preacher uh, lives li lives in my city, so the preacher that was uh, inciting their hatred down there he's an awful guy yeah not a man of god huh man yeah of god. well he's he's something all right <laughs> <laughs> okay avi Carrig, leonard lou vincent robin uh we are i will post it in chat glowing cheek plant people <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nobody did anything on the Olympics and the and the Russians and the. And the we started to talk about it in our group, and Jeff said, "Oh, I don't know anything about that." And we decided that we would let him have that. That was good. He didn't he know about know. it. We're letting him live in his own beautiful, ideal utopia. I I don't know any world that. Uh, excludes curling is no fun at all. <laughs> we didn't get into that. It was all about the skating. Yeah. Uh, that was my I, second choice for a team name. Curling is not a sport. Curling is not a sport. Curling is not a sport. I, I, I at five o'clock today, my time, I said, what the heck is going on with this, with the skating thing? Because I, and I took me a while to find her um, event where she was falling down and all that. That took me a while to find it. One, two, one, oh, now you have it for Jeff. Uh, sorry, Jeff. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. No, anymore. But there was all sorts of commentary on what happened. There was lots of sports figures explaining what happened and how awful it is. Oh, look. I've come to say hello. Oh, well, look uh, at this. Hello. Look at all those people. Hey, I haven't Mark. killed him. Hi, he really lives here. Hi, everybody. <laughs> He's living. Hi, Mark. Mark. Another CSI fellow is in the house. Uh, yeah, it, it, I got my hair cut. Fellow. Oh, he got his hair cut. Oh. 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 Yeah. Very I told snazzy. him he's getting ready to come back to the real world, you know, and it's mm. time to get rid of the COVID hair. Start, start oh, God, hair. I'm ready to get rid of the COVID mm. hair. I can identify with that part. Right, Susan, is, is, your, is your residence um, the only residence with two CSI fellows living in it? As far as I know. <laughs> hey. There's probably wow. another one somewhere. I don't know. Yep. Oh, that's That'd be a good trivia question. Yeah. Oh, well, you would. Yeah, we all know it now. Yeah. Have fun, you guys. <laughs> Is Mark named in the indictment? Good, good to see you, Mark. <laughs> yeah. I found, no, no, Mark's I found the that. Reddit thread. What indictment? Oh. We were talking about the Wikipedia stuff. I found your Reddit thread, the disgusting, dirty mole. <laughs> They're calling the investigation against you a false flag. Yes, yes. That's oh, oh my God. God, this is good. Uh, even better, even Susan, better, Faith. They said, um, Susan, the heat is on. Yeah, I was asking if you could turn it on. This is exactly <laughs> why I picked my username not to match my Reddit and username. I, and uh, one of the better Faith. things they said is they said, Susan Gerbic, oh, you might find it, might be in the same thread. You we are got, unskilled. 
Yeah. It's and a false flag because I could not be this inept, or what does it say? Nobody hold complains on. inept if you're doing really good. Hold on, inept. hold on, let me find it. <laughs> <laughs> you come, the way Susan has come across is so unskilled and so unprepared is certainly so implausible, it feels like an act. <laughs> It's called <laughs> Columbo. Columbo, baby. I love Columbo. Masoner of days. Let's one more question. Just one more are. question. <sighs> you guys are so funny. Uh, Faith, can you put this in the chat? Put the, <laughs> put the chat. Yes, Please, wait, yes, give the link. I don't care. Go, That's fine. To go to All right. So here we go. We are on game 94. Season two, episode 37. It's hard to believe, but it is February the 17th of 2022, which is insane, but we are still here. We are still live here on Zoom. And all of those fans on YouTube that are watching us today, I hope <laughs> you enjoy. But we're going to have the biggest matchup you will, you will not even amaze just at this moment in time. You, just like I, have no knowledge on who's going to be the winner tonight. We've got almost 30 people here that are going to duel it out. And the team names are the Happy Rainbow Unicorn Team. Hello, Rachel. Versus the Defenders of the Disgusting Collective of Dirty Mole People. Versus <laughs> We'll Just Ignore the World. Hashtag self-care. Versus Mor Moron Ram Ranch. <laughs> Versus glowing cheek plant people. So who will be the winner tonight? Will it be the mole rats or the mole people? The dirty ones, not the clean ones. Versus the, <laughs> the people who are living under a rock. Versus the moron ram ranch. Versus people with glowing cheeks. Versus rainbows. So we don't know who's going to be the winner tonight. But we do have five, count them, five. One for each finger on my hand. We have people who are going to be leading the teams tonight. The team leaders tonight are Janine, then Robert Palmer, then followed by that is Peggy, followed by that is Gail, followed by that is Robin Walsh, who wrote her category at the very last minute. She's probably writing it right now. <laughs> And we're ready to start. So I'm ready. I've given co-host properties to everybody. Here goes. Can I share something real quick? What is it? It's a, a curling, uh, 10 seconds of curling. Okay, 10 seconds I can handle. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. I'm just... It'll feel like you... 100. If I can <laughs> find the damn thing. Call me a, a newly minted curling fan. My husband and I have been watching the curling with relish. It's fantastic. Really? You I, love it. It's I love it. Utterly fantastic. I haven't yeah. watched any Olympics except for just little blurbs on the skating, and that's all I've seen. And, Ready? and I can I can watch right, here curling. We go. That's I very can watch cute. Curling. <laughs> that's very very cute. Oh, look at that. I can watch oh, curling. I can watch that. And a winner. I can watch <laughs> that. You know when you when you watch the aerial skiing and you're 60 years old. It hurts your body to watch that. <laughs> but curling, you know, is like, this is my, I could actually maybe do that. I, I agree, Robin. I was exhausted after the women's hockey game last night. It was oh, like, God. I can't keep, I can't even, my eyes are tired. And they're doing it with masks on. Oh, Just God. saying. Poor things. Yeah. They're, well, they're doing it with masks on. And the you, these babies, you can't wear their, their uh, masks to go to the grocery store. Jeez. They anyway. weren't wearing their masks during they that hockey game. Oh, they That's weren't. Right, they weren't. No. Well, I put up. I put up a thread of uh, um, an article. There was one. I think there was one. There, game there was one. Good. There was one, one game. game where they did. Because there was a scare. Yeah. And then they figured out, or they Thank you, Karen. eliminated the problem. Yeah. That's sweet of you. Thank you, Karen. She sent me some something special. Oh. Woo! You get a picture picture of everybody's a mole rat. <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go so let's start off with Janine now remember we're going to do the first round and there's a little strategy in this first round you want to not do so great because you want to get the next yeah. players that are going to enter in after this because you have a lower score that's that's <laughs> a good explanation <laughs> Great strategy. And, and remember, when you're writing these things, I'm always going to be on your team at least the first round so um <laughs> 
Leonard, you're going to be in control of muting people and letting oh, no. people in the room that That's aren't responsibility. I, I hope you can handle it, but you know, the fellowship you have, big responsibilities go with that. <laughs> you fellows have to take on more. Yeah, we have nice. to take I on more. Okay, so got to look for where to do that. So, so make it on quickly. It's under participants, I believe. All the way at the bottom. Click the participants icon. There it is. I got it. Okay. So, Janine, Janine, we know this category will not be about social. Um, it's not going to be about uh, TV or singers or anything like that that are current or anything like that, right? Please. Not correct. Yes. Okay, Janine, you're up. Give us a category okay. and then let her do it. The computer. category is not about agriculture either. Hmm. Um, I just received this lovely book from the Smithsonian on First Ladies. <gasps> and I recently read Cokie Roberts' books, uh, Capital Dames. And I just got her book, uh, uh, Founding Mothers, but I haven't read that yet. And so my, my topic is First Ladies. Right. Awesome. Muting, muting in three, two, one. Now, bear with me while I get the questions uh, back and forth between my, my text editor and the chat. Um, okay, question number one. Should I put it in before I start? Let's see if this... It's entirely up to you, Janine. Some people like to have it, people read it as they're saying it. Some people do it after, it's up to you. As long as we get it seen yeah, after. I don't even see all of mine. Okay. Um, this first lady was the first to marry a president while he was in office. And the marriage raised eyebrows because at the time of their wedding, she was 24 years old and the president was 54 years old. He had a daughter five years older than his new wife. So who named the first lady? So I'm gonna ask the obvious question. Do we have to know their first name? I thought about this a lot because some of the first names would be very difficult. So here is my thought. If any team gets the first name, then yeah, you need the first name. But if no team gets the first name, uh, then we can just go with Mrs. So-and-so. Okay, I agree. That sounds good. That, that seem monos. okay? Oh, that would be rule. Monos, monos Rules Variation 3. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This sounds like a whole. This is not a different class. This is, whole, yeah. this is, this is Janine's rule. It might be Janine's rule. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just just how do you account for something that might be really. I like tricky. that. Okay. It's about specificity, not overlap. Yeah. 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 That sounds okay. like data. <laughs> so, second question is Harriet Lane. The niece of the president performed the duties of the White House hostess for this bachelor president. She's the only first lady recognized by the White House National First Lady's Library who was not married to a president. What president did she serve? Okay, question number three. This first lady was the first to vote. She had reluctantly supported her husband's run for president after a Washington clairvoyant, Madam Marcy Comfrey correctly forecasted that he would become president, but would die in office. Who was this first lady? Which 
which first, this is number four, which first lady was the first to wear slacks in public? Thomas Jefferson's wife, this is number five, Martha Skelton Jefferson died 19 years before Jefferson became president. His oldest daughter, Martha Jefferson Randolph, sometimes served as hostess at the president's house. But he also turned to this future first lady and the wife of his secretary of state to serve as hostess. Who was this? Six, what first lady, living or dead, has lived to be the oldest? Number seven, so Joe Biden is the 46th president of the United States. Some say. <laughs> but <laughs> based on the White House and National First Ladies Library, Jill Biden is the blank first lady. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, but you, want, you want a different number there, as you're saying. Well, if it is a different number. <laughs> <laughs> what first lady initiated Halloween decorations in the White House? Ooh. Two first ladies are buried in Arlington Cemetery. One is Jack, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, uh, who is married, buried next to her husband, John F. Kennedy. Who was the other first lady? Okay, and number 10, the majority of women who were married to presidents outlived their husbands. Only two widowed first ladies remarried. One was Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, who was the other first lady who remarried. Okay. These are great. Okay. Got I it. love presidential I history. I have a question on. Sorry for the Canadians. Number three. On number three. I don't understand the format. She reluctantly supported her husband's run for president after. Yeah. A clairvoyant a said clairvoyant. her husband will die in office. And she said, and she didn't want him to run for president. She didn't want to be president and die. Oh, okay. Bob, all yeah. that information is irrelevant. Who was the first first lady to vote? Uh, that's it. Okay. That's, I, th I yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I thought that was interesting. So I thought exactly. it needed a Great little more relevant information. And it might give I'm us more. Learn a lot in this category. <laughs> I think this is going to be really good. Okay. All right. Um, Janine, do you want to send us to our rooms? Um, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Breakout rooms. Okay.
breakout rooms. Open all rooms. Open all rooms. Very good. There you go. Okay, now I, for some reason I got to put some people back on their team. So I will be there in my room in a minute. I've got to put you guys in your rooms back because it's for some reason doesn't want you to be in your rooms. So let's see. I can join any room apparently. Yeah, really I, I went and gave everybody their their. That's the their, way it's kind of set up for those. Oh, how interesting! Kids. It's all room one people. Huh? No, maybe not. Karen's not in room one. You're room two. I'm two, actually. We're. I haven't. Um, okay, yeah, I I'm trying to. to I have to do you one at a time. Hold on. There was about eight of you. Uh, sure. Carl, you're in. Rob, Wilma, myself, Karen, all in two. Oh, you're in two. Yeah. Okay, there you are. Robin's there in five. Wilma, you are in two. And yeah. Rob is in two. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to one. See you guys in a little bit. Good job, Janine. I like these quick cat questions already. Oh, here comes Adrian. So I'm going to put Adrian in. I'm going to put Adrian in this room. Susan's gonna, Susan's gonna be our ace in the hole. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> so have what, what have you guys got for one? None. Let's see. This is Tyler, T Ty, uh, President Taylor. Taylor, T Y T A Y L T Taylor, however you spell it. He had 15 kids. Uh -huh. Wow. A bunch from one wife and a bunch from the other wife. So he married his he married a young young um, Taylor, President Taylor. I don't know her first name, but I think it's Lucinda, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you want to... Oh, that's pretty good. Is someone taking notes? Oh, I, I, I'm just a guest here. Bob's got a paper in front of him. Bob? Bob? Yeah, I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm taking notes, yeah. So you're saying Taylor, Mrs. Tyler? Taylor? Yeah, and I think it's Lucinda. Taylor or Tyler? T President Taylor. Uh, Tyler, Tyler? It's one of each. They're yeah, both tip presidents. a canoe and yeah, tip a canoe and Tyler too. Tyler, President Tyler. Tyler. Okay, so number two, do you guys know that one? Um, a bachelor president. I think it's Teddy that? Roosevelt, wasn't he? Wasn't he? Um, didn't his niece take over the responsibilities because his wife died in childbirth or something? Well, yeah, that, that makes sense. And so his niece had to true. take over the place of. I think it was Roosevelt, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm really good at talking people into stuff. I'm a <laughs> and not knowing what the hell I'm talking about, but that's what a I would bachelor, say. Get them a bachelor. That sounds like a psychic's bachelor. job, Susan. Oh, I don't, you know, he might not have been a bachelor. Yeah, a bachelor, I, I would think, never marries a, a widower. Be a you know, widower. it might not be Roosevelt. It might have, it, it might not have been was, Teddy. It went, was Harrison a bachelor? You know what? Benjamin, I think Benjamin I think Harrison? there was a bachelor president. I think there Wasn't was Benjamin Harrison. Benjamin Harrison. That's my guess. Okay, I'm better with that than Roosevelt. He died okay. real early. Yeah, I didn't really do yeah. it. Okay, so the okay first lady to was vote. Who was that? What year did the women get right to vote? 18... 1920. Was it or... no. oh, 1920. Was it 1920. So that's when died. So who would that be? Roosevelt? Franklin Roosevelt? Who died in oh, Eleanor Roosevelt? Eleanor? Was he president in World War One? No, no. no. He uh no. Well, it was over by then, wasn't it? Yeah, he was he was well, he had four terms. Yeah. He was uh, but who who else died in, in office? So he died, was it 44 or 45? Yeah, he did yeah. die in office right after the World War II, right before we bombed Hiroshima, because Truman had to take on the responsibility. Yeah, 32, he had three, three terms, so 32 to 44. So it wouldn't have been him. It would have been somebody 32, so like three people ahead of him. Well, but it says the first lady was the first. Oh, the first, does, that, does that mean that she was voting as first lady, 
or when she was young, she voted. It's a little, it's a little ambiguous. I think it's the first, first lady. Yeah, the first lady to vote. Yeah, sounds like so, okay. So before Roosevelt, who Hoover. was who was president during World War One? Wilson. Could it be Wilson? Did Wilson die in office? So was he in office? Okay, World War One was over in 1919. So we had election in 2020, uh, 1920. Yeah, who was it? it? Was Wilson and who else afterwards? That was um, what's his name? Um, not Polk. Um, how was it? Oh, yeah, but see, it doesn't say he died in office. It says he would. She correctly forecast he would become president, but would die in office. Yeah, so it says he died, died in office. That means he died in office. That means he became president, or both. It both. means that she was That's, given a. Uh, she was worried about him becoming. Yeah, but I'm not so sure if it says it says the first lady was the first to vote. Uh, I'm not so sure if she if they mean in she office. was the first lady when they voted or mm -hmm. she was in office. Otherwise, the, the question would be too hard to answer. I know. Okay, so I can't but think of this. Mrs. Wilson. <laughs> yeah, Woodrow okay. Wilson. Who was the first lady Mrs. to Wilson? wear flocks in public? I have an idea, but what do you guys think? It was uh, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. That's my idea, because she did wear them. She did? Yeah, it was World War II, so Rosie the Riveter and all that. Yeah, it could be. Okay. I was thinking- I've seen pictures of her. They look like, they look like, um, like looks like a dress that's split into pants. Oh, pantaloons. Yeah. Oh, like a, a Cool yeah, like riding britches, kind of like they're. Yeah, and that's that, that was been. Eleanor Roosevelt, I believe. Okay, Thomas Jefferson's wife died. His oldest daughter, Martha Jefferson Randolph, sometimes served. Oh, wait, where is it? The wife of the Secretary of State. Is that Adams? Who came after Jefferson? Was yeah, that Adams? Adams, I think. John Adams. So what was his what was his wife's name? Abigail. Oh Abigail. yeah, Abigail. Good old Abby. Okay. So how, their house is uh not too far from me. I, yeah, I've read a book or two on the Adams, but you know, I get confused after a while. It's like the Tudor kings and stuff. You start mixing them up because if you read them out of order yeah. too much. Okay, My so my wife who is, is a big, oldest? big fan of that family. Yeah, they're yeah. very interesting. Well, who was the first? Who's the first lady that was oldest? I think it's Barbara Bush. Oh, no. Um, no. Lillian Carter. Reagan? Really? Carter, I think, yeah. Carter? I think it's Lillian Carter. She's in her 90s, isn't she? Yeah, she so is. No, uh, Rose, it's... um. What's her... I thought it was Margaret Trump. Or was it Lou, Rosalind Ca Carter? Rosalind, that's it, Rosalind. Sorry, oh, Rosalind. Rosalind Carter. She's still alive. And she's in her 90s. Did did wow. um did Regan's wife live longer than 90? Nancy, yes. I don't know. She died not too long ago. No. I, I thought of Mamie Eisenhower, but National oh, yeah, that's Lamp true. back in the 70s, National Lampoon had this contest to correctly predict the date of uh, Mamie Eisenhower's death. It was called the Forgotten But Not Gone contest. <laughs> it was really bad. So do we, so we think it's um, Carter's wife, Rosalind? Rosalind? Carter. No one lived to be 100, right? Nobody lived to be 100, huh? Not yet, she's still alive. No, nobody else, I'm saying. No. Yeah, hmm. Mamie wasn't 100. Eleanor okay. Roosevelt didn't, didn't die before. Didn't live past 93? Mm -mm. Okay. I've been her yeah. home. That's a really interesting woman, too. She's very interesting. Okay, Jill Biden. Okay, Jill Biden is the first. She's not the first teacher because. Uh, no, he wants to know a number. number. He's the 46th president. Is she the 46th first lady? Oh, she wants a number. What's else she yeah. wants? Somebody, did somebody have two first ladies? Or none. No, because one president had was elected twice. Didn't have was split. He was split, so she was the first lady twice under two terms that was separated. Remember that guy? He was elected. Oh, yeah. 
and then um, he lost. Then he won Kelsey, again. Um, so she was well, first. Rose, Rose she's the first lady Roosevelt. twice. That's Roosevelt, but, Franklin Roosevelt. No, no, Roosevelt. not Roosevelt. Who, who was the, well, he, who was, he was, the was it Harrison? Roosevelt was president it? twice. Was it Grover he, Cleveland? Yeah, something like that. But uh, would Grover. they count that? Because he was the what the forty second and the four? No, he yeah, was like he the twenty third and the twenty fifth president. But his wife would be given two numbers. Yeah. Oh, I see. When, oh, oh, I see. But too. so when they say recognize, there was a question earlier that there was a. Uh, Janine said this person wasn't actually married to the, to the president, but she was considered a first lady, because she took on the responsibilities. But did, is there another oh, yeah. question in here that says that he didn't have a first lady? I, I want to say one less because of the guy that had two, two elected. Two yeah, terms that, elected didn't separately. Change, that doesn't change Joe's number. No, it so Joe is still the 46, but there was one guy who was like the 21st and then the 23rd president. Yeah. So he got counted twice, even though yeah. they weren't consecutive. Right. So, but his but wife they, wouldn't get counted twice. She wouldn't be the, she was the 21st and the 26th, or do they just count yes. her? Because she's, the, how many first ladies are there? She was the same person for two different. Well, wasn't there one three. president you talk, that they talk about here that uh, wasn't married? But somebody yeah. represented him. Yeah, but they, they said. you can still have a first lady. Yeah. So I want to say it's either it's either 45, 45 or it could be 44 first ladies. Whatever you did guys somebody said, not I, have one? Did or did everybody have one? Well, I think um was it a trick question and it's still 46? It could be. Wait, I, like I, like question one, it says the first lady was the first to marry a president while he was in office. So well, did his wife die? Did then. his first wife die in office? That would have been a first lady. And then he married another woman. So that so he had two. So that, then it could be 47. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a trick but question. But I, I don't know if Tyler was, when he married, was a bachelor or if he was, his wife died. I, I want to say one office. less. I want to say 45 just because of the guy that skipped the a term, but yeah. I'm not 100% on that. You know what, you guys, whatever you pick is fine. I'm just a guest here. Go to 45. <laughs> okay, so what? which first lady initiated Which's Halloween women? decorations? Pat Nixon. I'm guessing, though. Really, Pat Nixon? I'm guessing. Who else would? Before that, whatever. Eisenhower wouldn't do it, would she? What did we, did we settle on uh, what number, uh, Jill Biden? 45. Was? I say 45, but you guys can vote me out if you want. No, I don't know. 45 is okay. It's just a guess. Confusing. Halloween guess decorations. It. I've never heard of Halloween decorations Wait, in the White House. I think it was Nixon. Do you remember ever seeing Halloween decorations? Obama then. Michelle Obama then. Because she probably did. Melania did them, but that was for Christmas. <laughs> the blood red trees. I was thinking. I, I would say was, Melania was would be the best uh, choice for Halloween because her whole her whole marriage and her whole that old fort horror right show. There, that it's was a horror day. show. That was that was a fright. Halloween night. every day. Halloween every day, except no candy. Okay, Halloween, but no candy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Obama makes a lot of sense. I, I vote. I vote for Obama. So Michelle. Michelle, Michelle Obama. Okay, I'm okay that, with that. Okay, so which two ladies are born in are buried in Arlington? I have an idea. What do you guys say so that we don't influence each other? I would say Margaret Truman. Eleanor. Oh, Eleanor? No, I thought Eleanor was, isn't she buried at the Roosevelt Mansion in New York? I think it's Barbara Bush. Really? Oh, I don't know. Gosh. Her husband was a. Um, was yeah, he, a fighter pilot. Well, I mean, didn't he? Wasn't he a fighter pilot? And he's yes. he's going to be buried in Arlington. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's a good, that's a good point. That that makes sense. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I, I think don't, that, I that don't know, make, but that's a, have we used logical. Barbara Bush for something else already? Doesn't matter. No. Okay. Doesn't matter if we did. No, it doesn't say you couldn't. You thought she was the oldest one. No, that's Carter. Right, right. Well, we yeah. talked about her maybe being the oldest one. Right. I yeah. think she lived she lived a long time, but I don't think she was the oldest. Okay, so the last one is Barbara Bush makes sense. 
Uh, who remarried after the death of her husband besides Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis? Thomas Jefferson's second wife? <laughs> Or Tyler's second wife? Yeah, because she would be very young when she when she married him. She had like well, seven no, kids, so she probably was like, I'm done with sex. <laughs> Every time I have sex, I have a baby. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Well, well um, pardon me, I may have the wrong president. Which one married a 24-year-old? That's the first guy. That was Taylor. Tyler. I, Tyler. And, and Tyler, Stop, too. Stop, Stop it. Don't keep changing it. No, I didn't change it. I was doing <laughs> what Jamie did. Tip a canoe and Tyler too. Okay. Yeah. That's how you have to remember it. Um, uh -huh. Number 10. Um, did Mrs. Lincoln remarry? No, she went insane. Oh, she did? Uh, no, she mourned. So who, who else outlived? Not, not so many women outlived the, the husbands. What about um, Reagan's first wife? She wasn't. Oh, she wasn't. A, she wasn't a first lady. What about? They like said Eisenhower. Maybe, maybe no. Maybe Eisenhower maybe. never married. Did Lady she Bird Johnson remarry? Lady Bird Johnson. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't I think don't so. Know. I doubt Matt it. Nixon, Betty Ford. None of these people remarried. Go back. Go going backwards. Betty would have been too old. It would be somebody relatively young when her husband died. Probably somebody back in the 1890s that we can't think of. That's why we figured it could be mm -hmm. Tyler. Yeah, I mean, Tyler kind of makes sense. We know she was young. Um, I think that's right, but I don't your know difference. What did we did we come up with any for number three? We need two and three. <laughs> Janine's got her, she's got a real mask on. Not the I don't, I can't do any of those pop-up things. Oh, those so, filters. So yeah, I can't do a filter. So but need, I'm sure these these are probably Chinese knockoff N95s. <laughs> so so they're going to come I in handy after the pandemic. Point. We're all going to be still wearing our, we're going to have our masks here for trivia when they're, so we can't yeah. tell you. Yeah, it's a very useful thing. So I don't know how people are doing and I'm not sure when or how to call people back. Did you, so did you go through the rooms and talk to them? I wandered through the rooms. I know at least a couple were kind of just wrapping up. I we, got two, we got two left. Okay. We need two and what? three. No, we need 10, don't we? Oh, so um, I'm not going to help you. <laughs> yeah. We need, yeah, we need two and three. Who was, who was safe for number two? Whose niece was Harriet Lane? And who? As soon as she says the answer, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah. Who was the first to vote? And we also don't have 10. So we didn't say Eleanor Roosevelt, Roosevelt was the first to vote? It was oh, 1920, was so yeah, it, was 19, it couldn't have been yeah. Eleanor Roosevelt. Is that Calvin Coolidge? Mrs. Wilson, Wilson, then. We said Mrs. Wilson. We thought we said Wilson. Wilson? Okay. Yeah, I got it. it <laughs> yeah, number two is Wilson, maybe? No, two, two we don't one. know. It's um, oh, three is Wilson. Three is Wilson, okay. Number three. Two is, um, three is, three is, we thought it was Wilson. Number two? Yeah, two. We just okay, who did we say was number two? We didn't. Susan said something. You're cutting out. Oh, was that Tyler? No, oh, that was number one. Tyler is number one. What do we got for two? I so, so did you that. say, did you answer for two? We don't have two. Yeah. Here's Coolidge. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Maybe it's somebody back in the. Yeah, Susan. And number two, I thought it was Roosevelt, but it's not Roosevelt. It's somebody else. I know I know the answer, but yeah. it's not coming to me. 
Um, it was one of those presidents was here for four years or, you know, like one term, nobody that yeah. stands out. I mean, it could be- Go with old. Coolidge. Wasn't there somebody who was a bachelor? You know, I think Coolidge was the bachelor. Oh, Calvin Coolidge. Doesn't that sound right? Wasn't he yes, the big he early was. return guy? No, that was Taft. That was Taft. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, number 10, we don't have the answer. Who, who, who's the guy yeah, that, I, who's from New Hampshire? He, oh no, he saw, he was there with his wife, saw his kid die. Yes, Tyler on 10, Susan, because she was so young. Oh, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know who it would be. Um, you want me to run down what we got? Sure. Okay. Okay, first one. Uh, Cal, uh, Tyler, uh, yeah. Calvin Coolidge, uh, Wilson, Eleanor Roosevelt, Abigail Adams, Rosalind Carter, uh, First Lady 45, Michelle Obama, uh, Bar Barbara Bush, and Tyler again, what I've got. Any amendments? I'm happy with that. I think, th I think those are well-reasoned yeah. Somebody it in might another be wrong, group is going to be well an reasoned. expert. Somebody in another group will be an expert and will score eight or nine. If Caspian was here, he'd be like all over this, but he's not here. Yeah, yeah. this is not my strong suit by any means. I'm not a oh, big hit. What, what, yeah. what answer did you have? Uh, what answer did you have for number 10? Tyler again, Hi. because if he's married so young. a 24 year old, and she was, when he died, died, she was probably young enough to oh. be married. He was oh, then that's a possibility. He's 54. It's a logical answer. Doesn't mean it's right, but it's pretty logical. Yeah, if, yeah it's well reasoned. Right. I'm not. So, Janine, yeah, yeah. what I, you need I, to I do? I like the logic behind it, but I have no idea if it's right. Okay. It looks like people are just wrapping up. So, why don't you, what yeah. you need to do is leave this room, go to the main room, and hit uh, close all rooms. And then it'll give you like a minute. It'll have a yes. countdown. Because I can't do it until you leave this room. But it just like, doesn't give you any warning and it that's what happens out. whenever if if you were in this room and you said close oh. all rooms then as soon as you leave this room you are closing the room so go okay. ahead and so i room. will go back to the main room mm -hmm. uh how do i find the main room uh leave the room i don't room. i the only option i have is close all rooms no, go yeah. to your go to your leave room button. So there's leave yeah. meeting. There's leave oh, breakout down room. Oh, down at the bottom. Yeah. I see. Bottom, yeah. Okay, <laughs> got it. Yeah. I yeah. got it. Okay, I can do that. I love presidential history. I I I love driving around and looking at the the presidential homes and the presidential libraries, but darn it, I can't remember one from another. <laughs> I can't. They all balloon together. Ohio had like four or five. McKinley, I think. And hey, Susan. Well, mm -hmm. I got you. Uh, you know, like my comment on Facebook. It actually a lot of the snow had melted at that point, but this afternoon, about three thirty, we got hit like crazy. I bet it's. I just can't even imagine really? that. When you're yeah, it's yeah. just mild here all year round. We don't even yeah. think about it. It's like. Yeah. I don't even I don't even know when it rains. It's like so rare here. It feels like uh, oh, unless you plan on adopting me, maybe not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think it's legal to have chickens in town, though people do, <laughs> but I don't think we have them. Well, so you have to leave your chickens. Adopting you? Uh, <laughs> I can only keep myself. So great yeah. job, guys. I think we well, we did a really okay. good job. We read those out. I think we're good. Again. Okay. And, and a Canadian. Fourteen. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Larry, that wasn't uh, kind of up your alley there. More in Nantucket. So, so we may not have gotten all the answers, but we got well-reasoned answers. <laughs> so I'm pleased. I, I really like that category. I love American history, and I love presidential history. And so, can, I, can I just say real quick to my team, are we on board with my last answer there? Because we were in the middle of changing an answer when we got called back. Are which, we good? Uh, which, which, which one? They're all wild guesses. The one, number 10. 
I'll, I'll, that makes me yeah, I'll send it, I'll send it to you, Vincent. Chat. You know, it's funny. One, I thought I put in a lot of information that would allow people to figure it out. So yeah, well, you're guess. wrong. No, but we, <laughs> reason, we, no, we, we were able to <laughs> reason it out. I, yeah. I think we did a really good also, job. I don't have a liberal arts education. So when I was reading through the, well, when I was reading through okay. my book from the Smithsonian, it was all new to me, but I thought, Everybody else knows U.S. history. I don't. We'll find out really quickly. Yeah. Oh, especially, well. especially the Canadians. Yeah, they. Yeah. Larry was a good sport, and our team just kind of hanging out. Like, well, Canadians, oh. they're they're pretty. Well, the problem is, is you know that one of the Canadians is going to write a category. It's going to be about Canadian first ladies or something, and we're going to be in shit trouble. Uh, there's That's no right. such thing. Do they have yeah. a first lady? Revenge. Canadian no. revenge. Even prime, prime minister. Prime ministress. Prime, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's prime ministers. Even no such thing. No such thing. Yeah. Female premiers. We've had that. We would be lost. So we've had some Canadian <laughs> questions what about, about Canadian prime ministers queens. and queens we, of Canada. And Thanksgiving. <laughs> there are no. Oh, the sure. Queen of you Canada. Know, well, we do have um, Governor, Governor General, Redbrow, which is. Yes. Uh, and the Queen. Sort of like queen. the Queen. So. Yeah. You have that nutcase Governor. woman right now who's queuing on Nutter. Uh, queen right. of Canada. Okay, okay. Janine. Okay. Okay. Give it to us. So the first question was um, this was a. The first first lady to marry a president while well, he was in office, and uh, she was 24 and he was 54. Um, this was uh, Julia Gardner <coughs> Taylor, and uh, his Ooh. wife Taylor's oh. wife Lorette Lu 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 It has I can't say it unless I see it. Uh, died. And um, a year later, he, uh, in less than a year, he proposed to Julia, and she insisted they wait at least um, through the mourning period. And so he married her in- so what, what, what president was this? I missed this. This Tyler. would be uh, Tyler. Oh, you said Taylor. Tyler okay, or Taylor? Like, Tyler, Tyler, T-Y. Tyler. Tyler. Tippy Tyler. Canoe and Tyler too. Okay, we got Tyler. a point. Yes. Tyler. Tyler. Yes. And so this is Julia. Uh, unless Tyler. people got the first name. Did anyone get the first name? Did anybody get the first name? <laughs> yeah, sure. We didn't, but is Mrs. Tyler okay as an answer? If nobody got Julia yeah. Tyler. Yeah. We have the same first name as you, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Is okay, we have a lot of Mrs. Mrs. in here. It's a piece of trivia. That's the most common first name for, name for this first lady, Mrs. Mrs. Okay. <laughs> so who was our our bachelor president? Um, the only president who was unmarried was James Buchanan. Oh. We um, had that in a previous trivia, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good memory, Karen. It helped a lot. Okay. We have a lot of stuff in previous trivia. I remember none of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I can't even spell Buchanan. Can somebody wow. put that in the chat? I am I will put, I have the first five loaded as soon as I go through. Okay, okay. Hey, Dan. Okay, I just, that's more efficient. He had um, a career as a TV detective in the early 70s. People don't know that. What? Buchanan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first name Bu, last name Cannon. <laughs> She's fun in us. Okay. The the first first Thank lady you, to vote, and I really questioned how one would know which first lady um, was the first to vote. But the other hint in here was that um, the clairvoyant correctly forecasted that he would become president but would die in office. So this first lady was Florence Harding. Yes. Harding. Oh. Harding. So Go did team. anybody get the first name? Nope. <laughs> Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Mrs. It was Mrs. Mrs. Harding then, right? Mrs. Okay. We didn't even get Harding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number Mrs. Four. Harding's male maiden name Coolidge? No. <laughs> <laughs> I for 
from drinking poison tea at the clairvoyance annual holiday party. <laughs> okay, number four was really fun to listen to you guys uh, try to figure it out. And this was kind of surprising uh, to me. And you were kind of going all around. I didn't hear anybody come up with this. The right um, answer? You didn't hear anybody with the right answer? Pat Nixon. Oh wow! Oh, really? Really? Not that, Jackie? Really? I thought it was. Well, that's Jackie. what I said, and my team said no. No, no devil worshiper. No. Wikipedia said Eleanor Roosevelt became the first lady to appear in trousers at a formal function at the Easter egg roll in nineteen. That's what we put. That's what we put. But that's at a formal I, function. She says in public. In public. Uh, what? I think you should. Uh, um, can we? Can we? Uh, well, Eleanor would have been before. Right. Can we? And that's I, what we said, I, Eleanor. Can we appeal? I'm confused with the Halloween yeah. question. Kevin, can, Kevin, you said you came up with the right answer, but you came up with like ten. <laughs> I said okay. Eleanor. Uh -huh. I had. Yeah, we I did had finally a settle. Question with this, and I did go mm -hmm. by what the First Lady's Library and Wikipedia both said that it was Pat Nixon. Mm -hmm. So if you want to. Scratch I, I think the problem one is the wording of the question. Public. I think, yeah, I think I had Nixon. Did anybody else get Nixon? I obviously it sounds like you did, Susan. No, I didn't. We, said, we, Eleanor didn't. we, got, we said Eleanor Roosevelt. Yeah, we said Roosevelt. Because I've seen Eleanor Roosevelt wear pants that you you drive you ride horses with, you know. Well, Those are we stacks. accepting that as an answer or no? It's Pat Nixon. Yeah, Go ahead, Janine. You can say who it is. Okay. According well, we to anyway. the First Lady's Library and Wikipedia, it was Pat Nixon. All right. All right we'll go with the First Lady's Library. I'm sure that's accurate. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, I wondered this too. Okay. Number five was uh, Thomas Jefferson called on the uh, wife of his Secretary of State to serve as the presidential hostess. Um, it wouldn't have been in the White House because the White House wasn't built yet. Um, this he asked uh, Dolly Madison. Yes. Oh, oh my God, we got a point. And, and she supplied Yay. dinner. <laughs> She's what? <laughs> She's, what? She supplied, she supplied okay. dingers, and snack cakes. Zingers. Yeah. Zingers. Yeah. Really Zingers. good snack cakes. Oh man, I didn't even think of Dolly. Yeah. I know. No, I didn't think of it. I th we I did said Abigail Adams. Adams. We're That's the reverse now. order, though. We went backwards. Yeah. Did, the other did we? Did we get Dolly? Do you know yeah. Dolly like yeah. I know Dolly? Well, Dolly hello, Dolly. <laughs> Vincent, did we do? Did we get Dolly yes. for that one? Yes, we did. Oh, it's D O L L E Y. Oh. No. And we and we got the first name. <laughs> yep. Janine, you put Dolly as D O L L E Y. That is the way it's spelled. Oh. Which really? bothered me because because we had a dog named Kelly, and my husband puts that extra e in. And I'm like, that's not the way you spell it, but every place, that's the way her name is spelled, this D-O-L-L-E-Y. But I don't think that we're, we're nixing points for spelling here. No, but so. I've just never seen it spelled that way. But then again, I don't know if I've ever seen it spelled. It must be short for something else. Mm -hmm. All right, the doll. I have a friend there. There it is. It's Dorothy. Another story without that. Okay, <clears throat> so the <clears throat> oldest uh, living first. Somebody's lady. talking, and the volume is too low, so we can't hear you. And I'm going to bet it's Lou. What Lou? To say that uh, during the War of 1812, when the British invaded Washington, Dolly Madison delayed leaving the White House until she could take the picture of George Washington. With Washington. Her. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I remember that. I mean, I wasn't there. But <laughs> I remember that. Okay. Um, the oldest uh, first lady, and I don't think I heard anybody come up with this uh -oh. either. Uh, Bess Truman. Yes. No, we did. Wow. No, no way. way. Yes. Yeah, she lived to be um, 97. <sighs> Wow. So, I've been to the Truman House. Um, Janine. Rosalind Carter's 94 due to be 95 this year. So, so she, she might be, might be, here. Might be maybe So, in here. a couple of years, do we get a point? 
if she lives that long. <laughs> oh, you really, years, you really shouldn't have mentioned her. About her. You shouldn't have mentioned her too late. Oh, yeah. too late face. They but who did it? Peggy? Oh, oh. But did she they remarry? Did. Last time we checked. Oh, boy. <laughs> did she remarry? Did we will find <laughs> out. Next week, Best we'll Truman? Out. We will find <laughs> out. You will find out. I okay. will find out if she just hit her head recently. <laughs> okay this was a really tough one uh number seven and i had to go back and like try to figure out how the hell is this even true um so joe biden's the 46th president but jill biden is only the 43rd first Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> Did somebody no, we got no. it you guys, wow. we God. talked God. ourselves God. in and out oh, of everything. God. Oh my God, Karen, so, you are my hero, heroine, who, whatever you want to be. Who got it, Karen? <laughs> she oh. she we all, we Karen. all talked ourselves through it. We did, Karen. And then made a wild guess. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, I had to like sit down and figure it out because oh. um, the, there were 11 acting first ladies. Mm. There were 46 first lady ships 54 first ladies but but uh joe biden is officially uh listed as the 43rd, 43rd. okay 43rd so that means yeah. three presidents did not have a wife so some presidents did not have have you know who uh, it was besides thomas jefferson anybody know who didn't have a wife well I there's um the only okay, one was Buchanan. Tyler and Wilson well, were widowed, died. but they remarried. Uh -huh. What about um, the guy who was president twice, but not consecutively? His Cleveland. wife would have counted oh, once, but he Theodore counted Roosevelt. as two. That was Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland. Cleveland. He got counted as two different presidents. Right. Yeah. So the non-spousal relatives. He twice, no, because she's only one wife. Like and he's only one separate. person. Oh, that might be the other. Yeah. Like if he was the twenty-first and the twenty-third president, yeah, she was I'm, all I'm looking right. at a list no, here. There's I, a Rose I, Cleveland and a Francis not, Cleveland. You can go to Wikipedia and ask for the list of first ladies, and they'll go through it. But, but uh, basically, where non-spousal relatives served um, mm -hmm. as White House hostesses. Um, they aren't recognized as the first lady, with the exception of James Buchanan's niece. Um, so there were other people after because she was a really good kisser. Yeah, I, I have no idea why. What? So, what? so she counted as a wife. I have no idea. They didn't bring that. Is up. that all it takes? Oh God, I've been getting it wrong all these years. We can get on this, huh? <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Let's go on to Halloween. Oh, yes. That was a fun, fun to listen to people uh, discuss. Um, the first lady to initiate Halloween decorations in the White House was Mammy Eisenhower. Oh. oh. Really? Yeah, that was kind of interesting surprise. Oh, did, did you come up? What was it? We thought it was Melania. Because every, oh, <laughs> uh, every day Halloween there. Every day was Halloween. You mean why did she do show. it? What was the it's motivation? All, every day is Halloween, but there's no candy. I'm not who sure. Was who was it? I I, I missed the answer. Mamie Eisenhower. Eisenhower. Okay. I'm not I sure. I said why. it was Nixon. Then we changed it to o Michelle Obama. Okay. That I would have guessed maybe Obama or something, but I've yeah. never I've never remembered Halloween decorations in any. White House. Any White House except that uh, Larry said uh, Melania had one, but she celebrated it at Christmas with those trees. <laughs> oh, red. those white, those red oh, trees. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was in 1958 uh, that yeah. she did it. The other interesting thing that I came across with her was that they weren't very happy about being followed into the White House by the Kennedys. I think maybe age or something because uh, Mammy Eisenhower called Jackie Kennedy that college girl. Meow. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, for real. So okay. they were very young. So yeah, they were very young. Um, okay, number nine. Um, two first ladies buried at Arlington Cemetery, um, and Jack. Jackie Kennedy Onassis, of course, 
uh, with her husband, John F. Kennedy at the Eternal Flame, but the other was uh, Helen Taft. Oh, really? Huh. Huh. Nice. And why? Yeah, you, Bush, right. you know why? Because her husband was buried there. <laughs> <laughs> He wouldn't fit anywhere else. Yeah, he <laughs> that may be he true. Was, he was buried in a piano case. I she thought was, it was. Yeah. I thought it was Barbara Bush. I apologize to my team because I talked you into that. Mm -hmm. We so didn't I thought, know. Anyway. I thought. I thought her husband was buried there. We didn't know. The anyway, other. So. The other thing that Helen Taft did was she arranged for the the Jap planting the Japanese cherry trees. Wow. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. she also was the first to donate her inauguration gown to the American History Museum, which is, that's a really neat uh, exhibit, the First Lady's inauguration it's gown. It's right? Smithsonian, You mean, as we're arguing about, with, about quite answers, if we had the right people, but we had it for the wrong question, can we have credit? <laughs> <laughs> then we got a 10. We got that, a 10. That, that would be somebody else. That would be Gail rule. That way. I don't think it works that Did way. Did anybody get taft? Mm -mm. So it doesn't matter that if so anybody it got that you didn't get that one. Nobody got it right, right? Okay, no. so then you're all right. Okay. okay. That's funny. I Yeah. Um, okay, and number 10, the other... Uh, First lady who married after leaving office was um, Frances Cleveland Preston. Oh. And she married an archaeology professor at Wells University after Cleveland died. Ooh. Let me guess. His name was Preston. The first lady was the last name Preston? Yeah. <laughs> she was like the youngest first lady. Um, and he, she was 21 and he was 49 when they married. So oh, she, right. she uh, had quite well, a- We well, use that same reasoning right, to Tyler. Can we get a bonus question, Janine? Just say, name the first lady and then we all get a point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised it, right, it was that hard. It's so. easy when you have the answers. <laughs> This was a oh, good yeah. category. I learned a lot. I really liked you know, the category. I, too. I learned, yeah. I yeah. just yeah. thought everybody knew more about U.S. history than oh. I did. Well, you mm -hmm. learned something about this category in this category too, Jeanine. <laughs> oh, I did. Got one. <laughs> we don't know this stuff. We we don't know. But I would like to read a book on them because I find presidential history mm -hmm. wonderful. I, I want to read this that. This was what what uh, triggered it for me, and it's really nice. It has all their pictures and a little bit about mm -hmm. each of them and. And um, it's just a gift from our Smithsonian membership, but that's really nice. All right, so let's go to let's go to um, scores, and we have. Uh, let's start with the Happy Rainbow Unicorn Team. Hello, Rachel. Um, I want to apologize in advance to Janine for any awkwardness that there might be for the remainder of the game. I'm sorry. One. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, that was the first question. I knew, I knew it was Tyler, or it was Taylor, or it's Tyler, or it's Taylor. I couldn't remember. Okay, you're just going to get the uh, person who joined, which I think is Adrian, right? That, is, that, is that what's going? No, on? Adrian's already in uh, a hot uh, room. Or whoever comes next. That was. Wait, wait, we don't know. Well done, well done. How badly did they want that extra person? Very much. <laughs> Defenders yeah. of the disgusting collective of dirty mole people. That is six. as badly as we wanted, Carl. You yes. got six. We got wow. six. Was Carl the ringer? Jeez, Carl. We got six. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Y'all hear that? We each, we yeah. each hear like one or two. A just rub it in there, Lori. Left. Just rub right. it in. Just spread it around. Karen and Lori are on the Wax same on. team. Wax off. Wax oh. on. <laughs> Wax off. <laughs> That's going to hurt. <laughs> okay, so we'll just ignore the world. Hashtag self care. Do. Do. See? All right, I can't say much because we had one more on Ram Ranch. One, didn't Ooh. we? Oh, God. <laughs> Which one did you guys get? Number 10. Wow. Man, oh, that's a hard one. Wow, that's impressive. Hey, I'm Lou, impressed. Lou, you might be off the hook for Lighthouse right, forever man? after <laughs> that. <laughs> we, had, we, we had Harrison. I think we got zero. We got zero. Oh, we get them in the person. We get in the person. We get Harrison for 10. Oh, okay. wait. We haven't heard everybody's score yet. Okay. So so did 
more on Ram Ranch? Did you just change to zero? Yes, we did. We we're whopping, gaping. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, glowing cheek plant people. Two. Two. Wow. So, Wait a minute. We're we not have, in last place. Can we go back it to four? We had lead. Buchanan. Four. Team was Pat Buchanan. Nixon. Two was Buchanan. No, no. But the answer for the question, we had Buchanan, right? For number four, it's Pat Nixon. No, no. For number two. Number, for two. number two. We knew that one. Okay. I think that's the only one we had, but we didn't. No, Gail, we put one. Van Buren. We didn't put Buchanan. Yeah, we put Buchanan. Ben shaking his head. No, we put Van Buren. We put Van Buren. You should have listened right. to Gail. <laughs> we, we, we got zero. Zip, nada, zilch. We got one in the Gale version of the universe that the yeah. split happened. <laughs> yeah. And I love you it. Yes. Buchanan. I wrote Buchanan. You guys got to double check your answers. Give Gail a point. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it Gail. might come down to it. We're no, Janine, give the bonus point. Name the first lady, and you guys will get the points. Oh. <laughs> I did have another question down, the but I'm not sure it was, would help. <laughs> is well, the name of the first lady Eve? Oh. <laughs> that is really sad. That Mitochondrial so first lady. On that. Gail, I mean, Janine, what was the, the bonus, not bonus question? Yeah. The one that I didn't ask? Yeah. I had down that just in case I didn't like any of the others, I said three first ladies have died in the White House. Name one of them. Mary Lincoln. Mm. Nope. No. Oh, no, 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 no. I, well, oh, that wouldn't have gotten very <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I would have uh, been a big help. No. Uh, well, wait a minute. I, I even knew that. Uh, Wilson's first wife died right in the White House. In the White House, we were busy watching television and going to films. Those were I don't, I don't know any of these. I wouldn't have known any, even though that was a three for. I mean, you had a choice between yeah. and, three. and the first Mrs. Tyler died because that's why he married the 24 year old. Oh. So I didn't know if it was in office or not. If I did this category, Janine, because I, I watched this movie last week, I would have done which first lady was married to a vampire hunter and didn't know it. <laughs> oh, who was so That it? would have been Lincoln. Who was Lincoln. it? That was Lincoln. Lincoln. That's Lincoln. correct. Lincoln. Mary Todd. Lincoln. That's right. Oh, Mary really? Todd. Wow. Oh, that's good. Abraham okay, Lincoln so we've got... Fighter. I don't understand how everybody did so horrible and just this <laughs> defenders of the disgusting collective of dirty mole people got six. How did you how did you know six? Because you both Lori and Karen on the same team. I knew one. I, I knew, knew one. It's a conspiracy no, you know it's a false flag. flag. I knew one because we had Buchanan in a previous trivia. <laughs> I was adamant about Eleanor Roosevelt and was wrong. But I, I'm not sure that was wrong. And then we guessed about we 43. Went, we, yeah, that's right. We would have had seven. We would have had seven. For that one. We did. We we really gave 40, the, the number seven, 43, some thought. A yeah. lot of that, Yeah, yeah that's we, amazing because I I mean, I had to sit there and figure it out. Wilma's in Canada. The information in front Wilma's, of Wilma's contribution to all of that was I casted my vote for 43. Oh, there you go. That was, I wish you're on our team. We got <laughs> yeah. you to 45. So, so Lori and, and Rob and Carl, you were the others. Yeah. What about? But so, you know, your first lady trivia. Oh no. I, I so guessed really, at a few of them, but really I was mostly guessers. wrong. We're really good guessers based on surrounding the guests with evidence and a conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I thought it put a lot of evidence around each of the questions. I was absolutely sure about the Dolly Madison thing for sure. Yeah, that was yeah. And I was sure oh. about the Eleanor Roosevelt, but apparently, yeah. according to Wikipedia, it's Pat Nixon. So we didn't get I, that I, point. I might I might come back and argue that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Nobody's well, gonna give you the point. Third. You guys got six. And well, Carl, I could Carl concede knew that Tyler. Too. No, no, Carl but, knew yeah. that one was Tyler. Wait, yeah, wait. But, did I hear Janine said I could concede that? Did I hear that? Yeah, well, I'm not sure but the average Eleanor. score. The average score for the rest of the game was like one. <laughs> so I but, no, I don't think anybody's gonna give you a point. But, but no, not but whatever. But 
<laughs> but Eleanor Roosevelt was the first. I mean, it. I think I've seen pictures of her in slacks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Those not are not technically culottes. Cool bye, Avi. Bye, oh, Avi. Maybe. Avi. Avi's not going to make mine. Oh, bye, Avi. Yeah. Anyway. Bye, Rob. We lost her. Okay, so let's move it's on. Math. Because You're going to miss the math one. Damn it. He's missing uh, math again? Jeez. He's missing math again. Are you doing math? Oh. Math. Is he gone? It's got some numbers in it. Okay. So Robert, you're up next. Got okay, 10 numbers. So, so did this one. One for yeah. each question. Yeah, that's true. So interestingly, this one is also going to be somewhat about history. Oh, good. <sighs> I love history. Titanic <sighs> trivia. Titanic. Titanic. Oh, that's, good. Titanic. that's not the Titanic, is it? That okay, is cool. a Titanic. I, oh, I'm, it's a new, it's a different, different picture now. I, I am amazed. I am amazed that uh, that no one's ever done this in this so long. We've been doing. You know it. what? Every trivia club always does Titanic trivia. Yeah. Mm. Okay. How do you spell okay. Titanic? So, <laughs> Titanic trivia. Are you Muting yeah, in yeah. three. Somebody spell two, it in the chat. One. Thank you. So I've actually broken this up to give people a break. Uh, some are history, some are uh, having to do with the cruise industry, and other ones are about the movie, the movie. There have been a lot of movies, but the James Cameron movie. So starting with the history part, question number one, in what year did Titanic sink, killing over 1,500, almost 70% of the passengers and crew? Plus or minus? No plus or minus. It's a famous event. It's like, hey, when did 9-11 happen? Sorry. What company operated Titanic? Number two. Number three, a little break here, true or false? The Titanic's captain, its chief designer, and the chairman of the White Star Line all went down with the ship. True or false? Question four, still in the history realm. About two hours after Titanic sank, what ship arrived on the scene and rescued an estimated 710 people, which was just over 30% of the ship's complement? Question number five, multiple choice. So now we're gonna get into issues of the ship versus other ships. Titanic was the largest cruise ship of its time, measuring 46,000 gross tons. The largest cruise ships of today are what proportion of Titanic size using that metric? And I made this multiple choice. 110, 215, 320, 395, or 490. Second one about cruise liners. Titanic was the longest cruise ship of its time, measuring at 269 feet. The largest cruise ships of today are closest to what proportion of Titanic's length? Also multiple choice, 90%, 130, 210, or 270. Now we're gonna to get to the blockbuster film. The James Cameron film Titanic was released in what year? No plus or minus. Question number eight, multiple choice here. Adjusting for inflation, approximately what percent of the cost of building the ship was the film's production budget? Multiple choice, 10%, 25, 50, 100, meaning they cost the same, 150 or 200%. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, that's nothing. I actually, I actually have that reversed. Sorry, I was playing with these at the last minute. So I'm going to rewrite it and post it in again. No, 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 that's correct. I did get that right. Okay. Right over the wall. All right, question number nine. Which of these is the closest to the film's initial worldwide box office, meaning its first run, gross? 
500 million, 750 million, $1 billion or $2 billion. Can you describe what initial means, Rob? Uh, yeah, I thought I did the first run. The first time the movie was released, what did it make at the box office? So that doesn't count DVDs, whatever formats were available whenever it was released, um, nor all the other releases and formats, just the first time it was released to the box office. And, and this is rounded. Sorry? And it's not, it, it's whatever, which of those is closest. Which, which right? of them is closest, yeah, that is correct. Number 10, name the object that serves as the MacGuffin in the film. If people don't know that term, maybe we can talk about that. Uh, and I gave a bonus. When the film was re-released to commemorate the centennial of the actual ship sinking, what was the primary thing which was different about it? Any questions? No, but I want to congratulate you on very clear, very clear questions. Thank you. Okay, except one confused me myself. I write, wait, did I write that backwards? No. I think these are going to be interesting. So MacGuffin, just in case anyone doesn't know, it's an object or device in a movie or book that serves merely as a trigger for the plot or to move the plot along. Thank you. Yeah. I, I heard the term, but I, did, I don't think I knew what it was. All right, uh -huh. you guys. So Rob Alfred Hitchcock coined it. Oh, is that right? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. His turn. Oh, that'd be a category for somebody who wants to write on the guffins. Hmm. Just a hint. Don't all do it at once. <laughs> Next week, they're all okay. No, Carl's everybody, doing it all. everybody, go to your rooms. Okay, you're gonna do it. Okay, thank you. Recording in progress. Oh, so I get to join this kick-ass team, huh? Kick-ass team. I hope I didn't screw you guys. Team. Yeah, be careful there, Rob. Who are you loyal to? <laughs> okay. One. All right, here we go. I know three. I know a few. Okay, uh, so yeah, okay. Let's, through. let's go. What do we got? Uh all right. Number one. Yeah. Where are we here? Hold on, I'm sorry. I got. Does anybody it. know the year? Yes. Yes. What what year? I don't know. 1912. 1912. That's exactly. Right. My grandma was five years old. Oh. And she was fascinated with the Titanic story. Oh wow. Oh, That's so Karen's amazing. got this. This is Karen. no. I only know three. Okay, okay, so the company, the company, company was White Star Line, wasn't it? Correct. Oh, which is what he put in the clue in the next one. Yeah, I saw that. Is it? Is it? It was a mistake okay. he made. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. The Are we sure? Okay, yeah. so because it is White Star Line, or it's a or it's a double bluff tried to make you think that it's wrong and therefore not right. Right. Um, yeah. It is wrong. Well. It's White Star Line. Yes, it is. Okay. So no I'm good. thinking number three is true. Um, but then I think maybe he would. Well, yeah, I do know that the captain. Yeah, the captain. Died. And I don't think that he would just make one of the things fake, right? Don't you think it's an all or nothing? And the captain did go down with the ship. It was a maiden voyage, right? So it seems yeah. like those people would be on it. Yeah, but there were maybe, survivors. Maybe the, the maybe the chairman uh, of the White Star Line did. Because, um, because I, I know that he yeah, died. For sure the captain died. Yeah. But the chief designer, he would have been staff, right? But the chairman of the White Star Line might have gotten saved. Yeah. I don't I, know. I thought it was hardly any men. But that's a statement <laughs> you know i don't i don't know the answer if one guy but i would i would suspect that they would all yeah, have gone I, down with the I ship i don't know chivalry yeah but the, but the story would be that the chairman of the company 
like the CEO type dude? Why would money, why would why would Rob write had, that question? The right? money he had stuffed in his in his shirt helped him float. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> and he owned they were they he was the owner of the company, so he would have so much privilege in that situation. I'm just a guest here, so you guys decide. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with false. Okay. But we can vote. No. I'm so not. number four, it was I'm not, Was No, it I'm Kyria? not the Arpatia. chairman of the White Star Line. So you guys, we can vote. <laughs> what was well, it, Carl? RMS Carpathia. I thought it was Carpenteria. <laughs> no. That's good. Carpathia. Which I think is also the ship that brought my grandfather home from World War One. Ooh. Wow, really? That sounds yeah. like a sh safe ship to be on. Lori, I heard you were a real you were a real trooper and a real fun person at the um, <coughs> Monarch County Skeptic Meetup. The I other. always am. I was him. I always piss everybody off, and then they leave the table. That's all. No, they said that I heard from at least one person said that you were so much fun. Well, we had fun. We had fun. I'm kidding. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, I just like to ask questions. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. So who who told you I was fun? No, let's continue. I on. think it was Paul. <laughs> Paul was it? yeah okay okay so wait are we going with true or false on number three you guys are we going to come back to it we okay we'll false. come back to it we okay. said false we but did. it was a okay. guess how do you spell the name of the ship that that rescued people P A R P A P A T H I N I I I didn't get that because you guys are C A R P A R P A T H I A Carpathia okay I've always saw it as Carpenter. Carpenteria. Carpenteria. Okay. Number five. That's close. Uh, I would say E. The big cruise ships today are about 150,000 tons. Okay. Six. I don't know how long they are off the top of my head, though. I don't know. I do not know. Big. They're big. <laughs> Store proportion. I'm not even gonna guess. Okay, number seven. Well, <laughs> you guys want to go with C because that's usually the. I don't know. It's always if you take a multiple choice and you don't know the answer. Well, it's not all of the answer. above. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that's usually the right answer. So on six, we can go with C. Okay, what I is know. Movie? Yeah. Um, okay. Let me think. Number seven is Christmas of 1997. Really? Yeah. You oh, remember yes. that? Oh, I had I was that. dating oh. Isaac Ben David Atal. <laughs> we went to see it at the Chinese Theater in Los Angeles. Really? He was visiting. <laughs> yep. We had taken we had taken a cruise. Oh. And he was from Israel and it was the first movie he had ever seen in the United States. Six has got to be D. That's really yeah. that's really funny. Six, oh, six has got to be D. Six has got to be D. Yeah. You think? Okay. We can I change. think so. Yeah. I had that for eight. I have eight. I had D for eight because it would make I, a good. I have nothing. I don't even have a guess for eight. Well, it would make a good like trivia question, right? To uh -huh. have it be the same amount adjusted for inflation. It's sort of one of those cool, like, guess what? You know, the film, that's why I thought it was 100%, because that's the one that is interesting. Otherwise, it doesn't, you know, so what? Sure, why not? Yeah. Now, Wilma, you're being quiet. Is there enough space for you to get in with your opinions <laughs> here? <laughs> so I was wondering, at what point do I admit that I have yet to see the Titanic? It's it's got a sad ending. I don't I, oh. I don't I don't want to see it. Oh, the really there. There. Gosh, it has, it. it has a sad, pointless ending that makes no sense. Yeah, it's a stupid ending. Spoiler alert: the ship goes down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what, why do People I need to die. watch this? I'm not into <laughs> dramas at all ever. So there's I there's do. nothing there for me. Okay. Okay. I okay, would, the object I, I is the it. emerald necklace, right? Yeah, that's the, the heart yeah. of the ocean. The, and that's what the necklace is, right? Yeah. That's what it's called. Is it emerald or ruby, that necklace? 
Was it red or green? It's sapphire, blue. isn't it? I don't know. The heart, heart of, the, of ocean. the ocean. Okay. Did we? What did we put for nine? I um, have, I have B. I think it's D. Nine. You think it's yeah, D? lots of money. The biggest amount when, of money. And when they they re-released it at some at one point to push it over the two billion point, it was close to two billion before the re-release. Was we it close? Pick, it was that the close. Most obscene number. So you All think right. it's D? I think so. If I remember my facts correctly, which I I'm you only sixty percent sure of on this one. Okay, sixty. Well, if you let me know when you're sixty three percent. Nobody got it. Anyway, I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm just saying that you were. It's such a round number he had. Okay, so bonus. I know the bonus. You oh, do? good. Oh, good. What? Roll down. What is it? Uh, Carl probably knows it too. Well, let's. You say it. It's I, Neil deGrasse Tyson complained about the sky. Oh, uh, stars. So they changed the star. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh. God, I got one right. That's a first, and this is on Okay, are we so the, the, the other film they had, what, they had used stock footage of a sky I, that was not appropriate for yeah, the movie. I remember that. That's right, Susan. That's, that's, that's great. Yeah, I didn't. I remember I now. Totally more praise. That. More praise. Yeah, go, Susan. That's a definite point. Susan, Susan. wax on, wax off. <laughs> <laughs> That'll save our behinds from one of our random uh, uh, Whatever's. multiple yeah. choice questions. Um, that, that, that could save our, in case our true false is wrong. Sky. I'm, I'm, I'm questioning number eight, actually. Adjusting for inflation, approximately what percent of the cost of the building the was the film's production budget? Okay, what would well, you say, Wilma? We, yeah, what would you say? Well, I, I have no clue. It just seems to be really odd if it, like, if we are adju adjusting for inflation, that it would be 100%. Why? I don't know. Okay, propose, say, propose another uh, one. So I think it would be less. Okay, like 50%? Like 50, less? yeah. But I, I, again, I have no idea. But but you figure the, rel the relative cost for, for a ship, for, you know, constructing a ship and a movie of that magnitude I mean, the special with effect. a director with it was that expensive to make. Cameron and and think about the cast. They had to pay Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet all that money. I don't know. I just I, I think I think if it's not num if it's not D, it's just not interesting. Yeah. No. Yeah. Was Did the Titanic the most expensive boat of its time? Good question. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, what about number three? Um, so let's come back to that. So number three, we went with three. So we're what? assuming that one of those three people did not die because we know the captain did die. Yeah. So we think it's a trick question. And the designer probably died too. But this, but this, the CEO of the company, in fact, I think I remember this somehow, I don't, but it might be false memory. I think that it'd be a jerky move for him to have one of the two be correct and one not be correct. I mean, do you think Rob would do that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that would make him a jerk, but I think he would do that. Yeah. A jerky. No, I said jerky. I use an adjective. <laughs> he is not a jerk. Jerkish. It would be a jerkish behavior for Rob. Yeah. But, but I, but it makes, I don't know. I just think it makes the question more, but I don't want to be wrong again. What if I'm wrong about like that? It's D that is just a game. It's just a game, Lori. Bonus. Then we'll miss out on all the prize money. No, Lori. <laughs> look, people, people are being clear when they believe they know something and when they're guessing. So it makes yeah. it silly for us to argue and argue if we're we're both just guessing. We're guessing. Yeah. So don't, yeah. feel guessing. don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. I'm not even. Exercise. I'm not going to even vote. So whatever you guys say. Hey, we, we got one to, point. Are, we got one we, point on the last round. So, so are we voting on three? Is that what we're looking at? Number three? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think the CEO 
Okay, the actual name of need. the MacGuffin is what he needs. So that part of the ocean. Part of the ocean. Part of the ocean. Yeah. I'm so glad you knew that because I would not have. Uh, I knew it was a necklace, but I would not have known the name of it. Oh yeah, it was so corny, and yeah. it literally looked like a heart. And then don't yeah. tell Wilma what happens to it at the end. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid movie. If I'm not mistaken, Celine Dion was part of this. Am yes. I right? Yes, she's and, and, yeah. 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 And they knew, they just said, that's it, that's it. You know, it's one of those like, like dream Cinderella stories of a singer doing an audition. And then after that, she kind of went crazy. Was she, was she kind of unknown at that point? Yeah, yeah. She was well, sitting down here, she's been known since she was like 14 in Canada. So she wasn't unknown, but. Oh, yeah. Well, Some. But, but that was her seminal moment. Like, okay, she must have been famous somewhere because they wouldn't have even given her a rehearsal. No, it was she really wasn't that well known, and it was really shocking. And they, she started singing, and they went. Is was she one of those like contestants on one of those singing shows? No, I, I don't yeah. think they were really. I, I don't know, but I don't think they were singing shows back then. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. She was known to have a, a fabulous voice, a very mature voice, at a quite young age when yeah. she was fourteen. Yeah. So we need a trivia category in How many hundreds of years was her husband, her deceased husband, her husband older when than he her. first started dating her as and a child? Did, and did she remarry after that? Oh, was like <laughs> an manager or something? Gary. Was her husband much older than her? I don't yeah. know anything about her. Older. Yeah. Yeah. I think Probably he was like spill it. 30 years older or something? When she Holy was a 14 year old. But they didn't get married or date publicly till she was 18. And Jerry Lee Lewis? Come on, geez. <laughs> was he your cousin? So oh. she started dating this guy who was what 44? When, when she was 14? She, I'm just I'm just guessing that. that oh, I don't know. I don't know. Gap. I don't know, but it was big. He was her manager. But then, like two seconds after midnight on her 18th birthday, yeah. they started dating. <laughs> Of course, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't I'm think sorry. I've heard either. Sorry, is this being recorded? <laughs> it is. So right, we, she apparently really loved him. We, if yeah, you yeah, they were married all yeah. their you know adult lives. They had kids. Yeah. She was really? devastated after he passed away. I mean, she loved him. Yeah, as anyone would love their grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had funny. kids with them. I have a, I have a message for Celine. If you're listening to this, first get a life, and second, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> come hang out come hang out right. i'll learn to say your name correctly so, yeah. and Viewing also have a sandwich for god's sake Eat for god's yes. Sandwich. Yes. Yes. okay let's let's review let's review. reviewing for number one we got 1912 1912 for number two we got white star yes for three we're saying false four Are the we? rms carpathia uh-huh for number five we've got e, e 490 percent for six, six, we're going D, 270%. Mm -hmm. Seven, 1997. Mm -hmm. December eight, 25th. <laughs> eight. No, no, going, early December. Are we still going with D the same for, for eight? Sure. Yeah, okay. You guys. Nine, we're thinking D, 2 billion. Mm -hmm. 10, the heart of the ocean, ocean. Mm -hmm. and uh, the bonus round or bonus question is they they fix the stars in the sky because Neil deGrasse Tyson put up a hissy fit about it. You know what I like about tonight? Tonight, what? both rounds, people have known like one or two, and then we've guessed on some. Hey, I guess, hey, you I are you you know you are in the only room that got anything right. I was going to say, because like, I was going like this when you said that about the first round, because I knew nothing. But, well, and everybody but, knew and, something. But, but, we, but we, put our, we put our heads together right. and we pull our memories together. Carl knew and, two or three. I knew two. I think someone else knew one or two. And, and we guessed right. As well. I've been on teams yeah. where they just yeah. go, I know all the answers, and they say all the answers, and then we talk uh, about current I'm 0 for 20. 
So are we I wrong? I like these kind of categories. Are, 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 did we do no, good or we all, we're done. Or we all got the wrong answer? We're done, Rob. We're done, Rob. We, we, okay. I like these kinds of questions. Ten. I like these kind of categories, like with Janine and this one, because for that exact reason, you can kind of reason them out and it's stuff you oh, might have remembered, okay. except for the Canadians. Poor guys. I'm going to give the close all room message. Wait, you don't have. Oh, you're supposed to leave the room before oh. you do this. Uh oh. Okay. Well, you guys, let's see. Good luck. Oh, we're going to be back in 10 seconds, aren't we? No, 49. We got 49 you know, seconds. You know, the ones where they show like pictures of spaceships. I'm like, okay, I'll make a list of every science fiction series I know and just roll the weapon. Yeah, yeah, I don't know any of those things. So Susan, Susan, what 36 seconds? I got to go because I'm at my office and I got to go home. <gasps> I, if I log back in, mm -hmm. I mean, can you let me back in and kind of do Yeah, of it? course. Yeah. Better take you all the back. Making, Lori. Drive really fast during the break. I was going to say, how close are you? I walk. Oh, no, I walk. Oh, well, yeah. wait, take a picture. Oh, okay. I'm okay. going to take the picture after this round, unless okay. you can oh, get right. there really quick while we're doing no, it. We'll take, take a picture before and then I'll go. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it when we get back. Here we go. Good job, team. Okay. Good job, team. I don't care. Damn, you are correct. You caught me there. Oh, cool. Hey. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna take a picture really quick That's because Karen's got a Karen's so, uh, not Karen. What? Lori's gonna walk away for a few minutes, so we're gonna take a picture before we do the answer. So well, I need to give I need to give people a chance to go back and work that Wait. if they want to, because Adrian just pointed out an issue. I had feet for question six, and uh, it's actually meters. If that makes a difference to people, not us. Uh, Can we take a picture and then go back? Yeah. Right. So let me take a picture. Take a picture. Okay, everybody put your best smile on. Wait a minute, I gotta change my background. <laughs> I gotta get, wait, wait, I gotta get Mrs. Butterworth. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna smile like Adrian. Adrian has a good smile. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay. I say let, let him go. Okay, so does anyone want to go back to discuss number six? Sweet. And thick uh, and thick. 269 uh, meters. Okay. Damn, and my American brain always thinking in feet, even when I said <laughs> that would affect that would affect the percentage. Yes, which by the way was was uh, several several times brought up in um, uh, Project Hail Mary. I have to say, yes, it was. That was a good book. Don't base any trivia on that because I won't know. The units of the Titanic. I'm sorry. The, I, the units. Just just oh, it's a U.S main character is a u.s scientist so therefore he yes. talks a lot in feet and stuff because that's what yeah. we're used and to always point out, damn it i must be an american okay. stuff is in so, so i'm going to open all rooms if anybody wants to go back to discuss that does anybody want to go back to discuss that and hear it I yes? yeah i, I wouldn't mind re-looking at it just to be safe okay so i'm going to open the rooms okay but you can go back by yourself carl <laughs> does rune five need to go back i don't think so we don't need to go back are we going to go back Room no. one, room three. Do we have a hope in hell? <laughs> no. no. Wait a hope minute. I don't see anybody from my room here. No, oh, well. no I hope would be in no hell. Help, so it wouldn't matter. Jeff might have gone back though. No, I'm here. Yeah. I'm oh, are here. you? Okay, there you guys are. Okay. I was thinking I, about it, but I was also like, yeah, nah. Oh, went back. Okay, Lori, so you can run to your. Uh, no, we didn't. We, home. They're not back. No, we didn't. Uh, they're not back. Not everybody went home. to the Jane, to the room. You went. So make sure you posted so of your, your baby's Carl birthday was. picture with the with the rainbow Carl, suspenders yeah. okay, was fine. adorable. That was so cute. Joe. <clears throat> Even though he's all grown up, it was precious. Yeah. Yes. He you looked related to. to you in a kind of genetic way. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a coincidence. Coincidence? I think not. You don't believe in coincidences, Susan? I think not. No, of course not. Never. No, of course they happen all the time. Geez, I hope our team gets more than six. Oh my so God. what do you think I'm going to be doing one month from tomorrow? Writing another Wikipedia page. <clears throat> nope. Oh. I, 
being on a cruise ship. Nope. He's <laughs> coming to Vegas. We're going to do something in April. Skiing. Nope. nope. Oh, definitely. Very, very, very different than skiing. Having <laughs> another grandbaby. Scuba diving? Swimming. No, nope. Billy's, Billy's going to Vegas plane. for the Having my, having my left hip replaced. Ooh, oh, very oh. Good. Wow. <laughs> Are you going to be able to walk in April? Uh, the end of April. <laughs> I'll be able to walk in the end of April. My this is your other one, one right? You've already yeah. done this once. Yeah, I, I did my right hip three years ago. Has it been three years? So you know what you're doing. It has, it has been three years. Well, yeah. Me knowing what I'm doing is an issue, but not nearly as important as the doctor knowing what he's what he's doing. Yes. Uh, when I when I saw him earlier this week, I joking pointed out that my the X-ray of my pelvis, the two hips looked very different, and he said, "Don't worry, I'll make you a matching pair." <laughs> so, uh, who's the doctor? Uh, Doctor Hartford. Hartford, okay, not the same as Corey had his hip done at Stanford, but I mean, I'm assuming you're having it done at Stanford. Uh, uh, no, it's actually uh, they they do their it's uh, he he's at the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, and okay. the surgeries are done at Sequoia Hospital. Okay, um, and it wasn't um, Hartford. Okay. Call those people back, Rob. What what day are you having it done? I did call everyone back. I think everyone March 18th. Back. I think everyone be back. Oh, okay. Corey had a Dr. Goodman to do his hip. I've heard of him at Stanford. Okay, okay Robert. So are we ready? Yeah. When is, when is this operation? March 18th. Thank you. Damn, you don't get to party on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, I think he's really Sorry, Leonard. sad about that. Yeah, <laughs> I, can I can listen to Irish music, though. There you go. I just can't jig. <laughs> you can jig. <laughs> In your chair. I wiggle. can jig in my head. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so here come the answers. Oh, Rob. Question them. How did anybody think they did? Better or worse than last round? Just better. <laughs> better. 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 I hope we did better. How, how could this Way be easier than the last than, round? How could the last round be harder than this? <laughs> if if, if we mean, get there's... another hero, we might as well just quit now. <laughs> Don't quit. <laughs> Okay, what year did Titanic sink? It was on April 15th, 1912. Yes. Tax day. That's even worse. <laughs> hey, team, we have our first point of the night. There were a lot of millionaires on there who probably don't pay taxes anyway, so they didn't care. They're probably like, yeah. Uh, and the rest of them we got to have a national tax taxes. day. Let's pick, oh, I don't know, uh, April yeah. 15th. It's got no... So what yes. company operated Titanic? Uh, it was the White Star Line. As many people may have noticed, was in yeah. another question. Yeah. It, yeah. And that, the and, that and the people might have thought it was being tricky, but that was just an accident because I injected oh, wow. question number two after I had written the other one and they forgot that was there. <laughs> See, <laughs> that's the thing. We discussed that, Rob, and I was worried that you might yeah. have done that. How tricky is Rob? Yeah, we were thinking about that too. Uh, uh, I figured it was a double fake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a double Did double. anybody not get that? I. Uh, they, they, no. they you know what company yeah. they run under now? <laughs> what? Cunard. Oh, serious. Yeah. Okay, true, true or false? Uh, did all three of those people go down with the ship? And in fact, no. The uh, chairman did not. He took a lifeboat and survived. And the press oh, made him a coward, and London Yay. Society ostracized him. Yay, uh, Mrs. Uh, Butterworth. She's not here. Why is she not here? She she's walking to her from her office pancakes. To home. Oh. So wait, so the answer is no. The answer false. is false. The answer is false. Dang it! You got it, but for the wrong reason. The chairman survived. Yeah, yeah he took yeah, one of the few spots in a lifeboat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and, yeah, Jay, uh, Lori got right. that. She was yeah, spot on. Jay, Jay Bruce Ismay, lifeboat. portrayed by a Weasley kind of guy in the movie. Uh, about two hours after the Titanic sank, what ship arrived to rescue the 710 people? And that was the, the Enterprise. RMS Carpathia. Yes. The lollipop. Yeah. And Carl, Carl, say your little piece of trivia. Uh, yeah, I think that that is also the ship that brought my grandfather home from World War One. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Very cool. Wow. 
about the right time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very cool. All right. So now we get into the cruise line industry questions, and these were kind of surprising. And I'm actually going to go. Sh I'm going to share my screen. Well, this is where we got the numbers. And show you a <laughs> picture before I give you the actual answers. So uh, there we go. This the Lord of the Sea is one of the largest <laughs> vessels right now, and there's Titanic. So it's a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, but not in length. A little lot not, bigger. So yeah. so right. right. So regarding gross tonnage. As we learned previously, it's the kind of the volume, the weight of the material that could fit in the ship, not the weight of the ship itself. Yeah. Right. Was that Caspian's? I forget whose questions those were. Uh, but, Adrian. Yeah, Adrian. 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 Oh, Adrian. Adrian. That's right. Yeah. So That's right. using that metric, the answer is the largest one, which is E. It was 493%, 227,000 gross tons is the current ships. Wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah, there's, right. there's current ships is damn big. It's damn big. I've been on like the well, the one previous to the mm. largest generation. So it's now it was the biggest one I went on it. Uh, regarding the length, as you saw in the picture, um, not that much longer really. So mm. it's the answer to that is B, 133 yeah. percent. Wow. Uh, difference between a liner and a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. well, we got that one. Thanks to Carl. Good. Mm. All right, uh, the film was released in 1997. Oh, yes, go I told you guys. Karen yeah. remembers almost Wait, the day because she was dating the hot guy. <laughs> what's the number six? The ship's captain. Number six. What? Number six, you skipped. No, I didn't. No, we didn't. No, he said it was, it was B137. Oh, it was B. Oh, okay. Yeah, he is in yeah. Buffalo. Okay, he, I'm sorry. He I'm, is in banana. Okay. For the year, Rob, we had 97, changed it to 98, and then went back to 97. So we well, it would have been close because it was actually the last week of December. So, uh, yeah, that, it was yeah. almost yeah, we, 98. Yeah, depending on where yeah, you live. That's why we're going back and forth because we're all like, <laughs> and we if you're in Australia, it might have been, it might have been. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Thankfully, we changed it back. Karen okay. had the day in everything. Wow. Well, if you're, everything. if you're across the international week line, <laughs> yeah. then it's the next week. <laughs> in the next year. All right. So adjusting this one, this one blew my mind. Adjusting for inflation, approximately 1% of the cost of building the ship was the film's budget. I heard numbers all over the place here. It's actually the largest answer there. It was 208%. The ship wow. cost seven and a half million to build, which is 215 million in today's currency. Uh, keep that in mind, 215. And the film had a production budget of 200 million, which is 448 in today's currency. Jeez. Wow. Double. The movie cost double than an actual cruise liner. Wow. Mm. But, you know, it made, now that's this question. You know, the ship didn't make any money because it sank. <laughs> How much did the movie make? Well, which of these is the closest about... film's initial box office gross? Oh, we totally misunderstood. We thought you talked about the, the ship in the film. You're talking about the actual ship. I, I was confused by that question too. Oh, yeah. oh I thought it was about that. the I thought it was about the movie. Yeah, the ship that's they what built yeah. to make the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna no, ask that, you, where's the ship that they part made of the production budget? So that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, right? that doesn't make sense. Okay, well with, I with I don't make a lot of sense budget. most of the time anyway, so and it wouldn't have been adjusted for inflation. Yeah, number nine. Which of these closest to the film's initial worldwide box office first run gross? And to be clear, as they release it to a theater and it plays until no one wants to watch it anymore and you just add all that up, right? So that was $1.84 billion. Oh, oh, it, it was the first film to cross one and it all, one billion and it almost mm. doubled it. And as of now, the film and all its releases has made a total of 2.2 billion. So it still didn't mm. make a lot more. So the answer is, is, is D. D. Answer D. Is okay, D. So it's, it, you, you keep saying made, you mean gross, right? Uh, gross, correct. Yeah. yeah. Name the object that serves as a MacGuffin. And it was referenced numerous times in the film. So I really needed the name rather than just a necklace. It was the heart of the ocean. Yay, Karen, <laughs> she knew that exactly. Oh, you won't take just the necklace? No, he no. put a, he put Oh, we didn't see that. Too bad. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. So maybe, maybe you'll get the bonus then, which is why I threw it in here. Yeah, when no. When the film won't. was released to commemorate the centennial of the ship's sake, and I went to see this also, 
uh, what was the primary difference? No, not the night sky, although that might have been changed. The primary oh. difference was it was in 3D. Wait uh, a minute, it was oh, the night sky. Okay. Night sky. Okay. Night sky. Night sky. Night sky. Night sky. But what the yeah. primary difference, it depends on, you know, your, your point of view. Your, your point of view. Oh, <laughs> is, <laughs> what about that IMAX? Is only a big no question. One eye. You didn't notice we that said other IMAX. Yeah, only I think, one eye. Yeah. Susan, Susan. We said IMAX guy, there, is that Susan. correct? All of the advertisements were Titanic, now in 3D. It didn't say end uh, with the real night sky. Uh, <laughs> it, but is it with IMAX, was that okay? No. 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 Uh, IMAX there. Because IMAX in and of itself is, is not, it's not 3D. 3D. Right. Well, IMAX mm -hmm. is just wide. Form. Okay, so I have a trivia question. What first lady was married to what president who was born the year that the Titanic <laughs> sank? And there's a real answer. Who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> the answer. No this idea. is Reagan. Ronald uh, Reagan was born the same year that the Titanic sank. I have another oh. question. 1912. First right. in the entire group that didn't watch the movie. <laughs> no. I, I didn't see it. Maybe the well, we told her there, uh, we gave her some spoilers. The boat I haven't seen the movie. What's ship that? sinks. I Most people die. Janine Stop. hasn't seen it either. Wow. Wow. Gonna, I saw Rob, the old I'm movie. Fight for the, night the black sky. and white one yeah. from the 60s, Rob, 50s, whatever it was. And people says, have serious opinions on whether Kate Winslet could have let Leonardo DiCaprio onto that fucking door. Yeah, Damn. There was they, room. they did that on there Mythbusters. There was room on that board. They actually examined that question on Mythbusters. It was buoyancy. They both would have died. Rob Palmer. I, I want to point something out in hopes that you'll reconsider. <laughs> For the bonus, if in fact the night sky was changed, as Susan Gerbic recalled, <laughs> that would have occurred before the change of making the film 3D. So that would be the primary thing that was different about it. <laughs> you you, you and uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson might say that, maybe Leonard, but no. <laughs> I agree with Karen, and I think we're ganging up on that. Mm -hmm. Bye, Susan. Yeah. Thank also, you for sticking up for me, Karen. But I think 3D is wrong. probably a little bigger deal than the Night's Hat changes. Yeah. If, you're a down to, was a if, you're, if you're a Downton Abbey fan, you will recall that the opening scene in Downton Abbey is a telegram to announce to the the family in 1912 cousin that their cousin Ooh, has died on the Titanic wow. and now they get to and that's who Mary was supposed to marry wow. oh. and, and Reagan was born in 1911 so my forget my trivia question so, <laughs> Wil <laughs> I'm so, disappointed, Kevin. so Wilma the thing that makes this interesting to me as a story well the movie was interesting because Cameron was a fanatic about getting everything right I mean to the people who except were in the night sky apparently except the night sky because no one cares about astronomy Leonard um <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but just Neil deGrasse Tyson that's it. But the other thing was if you were to write the story of the Titanic that you know it was a maiden voyage it was a long bet, bet, the biggest ship of its time the captain was on his retirement cruise it was gonna be his last voyage the richest man well the owner of the line was on it the design of the line oh no oh well, no that's ridiculous you can't put all that in a fiction no one would believe it but it was like that's what happened Wow. No, but, I, but I'm surprised I that asked I asked who the richest man was. I know that. Put your yeah. answers in the chat, yeah. please. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go with our, with our scores, which I think are going to be better than they were in the last one, even though I, I hope so. Liked... Well, they'll be higher. Yeah. yeah they'll be Whether different. Whether or not they're better. Okay, answers are in the chat. Okay, so let's go with, um, oh, there we are. Oh, so uh, darn, I was so thought. <laughs> I mean, Avatar. Who won the World Series the year that the Titanic sank? Mickey Mantle. I, wow. <laughs> no, you didn't. The Red Sox. It's oh, up. that was it. Yeah. Okay. It's pee break time. Is, is that all a right, sports right, ball right. question? Let's scores. All right. So the Happy Rainbow Unicorn team. Hello, Rachel. Six. There you go. Um, more on Ram Ranch. Five. Ooh. Seems like a good score. Uh, glowing <laughs> cheek. It's, it's plant five people. more than our last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> glowing cheek plant people. Nine. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Nine. Wow. Yep. wow. Whoa, ah. Okay, so we'll just ignore the world hashtag self care. <laughs> uh, four. Ooh, that's Ooh. not good. Um, <laughs> the team I was on, Defenders of the Disgusting Collective of Dirty Mole People. Nine. Yes. Do we really? 
Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> Even without the bonus. So Even without we're... the bonus. All right, so five minutes, go. I, I will, I will share the screen the for the bonus for where we are. Are you recording this one? Yeah. So yeah, I'm recording it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So here's our score so far. Wait, wait, keep that up. Let me see. Uh, where are we? Where's the dirty Here too. Table? 15. Yes. You did very good. Can, can I change it now? Yep, thank you. Very, very good. So are you going to let the recording run during the break? Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Why? I can't say something, because I want to say something that I don't want recorded. What? Okay, here, let me hit pause. Hey. Hey, I guess if everybody else is, I'm okay. okay. Amy, why don't you tell them what you told me about what's going on in Thailand with this? About what? What's going on in Thailand about being vaccinated and wearing masks. Well, people, I mean, none of this is so foreign. Here, people can't in any way perceive the fact that there's protests against mask mandates or vaccinations. Here, um, we don't even know if there's a government mandate. People voluntarily, because you know it's a much more social kind of atmosphere here and people take responsibility for each other. So people wear masks independent of any mandate. There's a social, I guess, an unspoken social pressure to just wear masks everywhere. Yeah. We can never imagine going outside. If we didn't wear a mask, people would be staring at us or chasing us. Yeah. So there's just simple social pressure. Yeah. Here, way before COVID, if someone had a cold or a flu, they would voluntarily wear a mask so they wouldn't simply spread the disease to others. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty so common in, in a lot of Asia. Yeah, it's very common. So here, people are confused that, that you know, people are angry by the mandates when here it's a socially responsible action is to simply wear masks. So Same why does everyone in Thailand hate freedom? <laughs> we're face diapers so what is the what is the rate of vaccinations in in thailand is it really high it's 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 based on you know how many people can get it the trouble here is availability of vaccines not people wanting it there's the only people um, questioning the vaccines here are foreigners okay mostly americans okay i it's only met oh my god that's it so I, I met a few Americans like on the beach who came to me and said, you're not going to get a vaccine. It'll change your DNA. So it's it so it a very small percentage of foreigners in the country, mostly Americans, who question oh, the vaccine. Be. Otherwise, um, everyone, I mean, there's no question. People are <laughs> scrambling to get any vaccine possible. The challenge had been uh, availability of vaccines. Um, so everyone wants a vaccine. The question is, how do you get it? But in the last few months, the government finally has done an excellent job in getting we got Moderna last week as a booster. Pfizer Good. came here. Um, initially, it was months of nothing but Sinovac and the AstraZeneca. But finally, um, Western, uh, Western vaccines came. So it's not a question of wanting to get it. People are desperate. In fact, many of our um, Thai friends have gotten four vaccines so far. <laughs> wow. wow. Karen, hey. what's, your, what's your puppy's name? Oh, it's Cooper. Oh, that's a cute puppy. Just turned nine. He looks so cheapy. Uh, Susan, I just noticed the time. Do you know it's 9, 10 and we haven't gotten to halfway yet? I don't, I didn't notice that. It's over here. It's well, only, well, oh yeah, it is. Well, okay. It's yeah. tomorrow where I am. All right, all right, all right. So let's it's noon time. move along. Move Who's along. next? We are Peggy. at, hey, it's Peggy. It's me. Peggy's Peggy. turn. All right, Peggy, you got your permission. We can see the answers yeah. in your glasses, Peggy. You know, let let Kyle squeeze in the on the next. I'm taking them off. I'm taking. Oh yeah, off. yeah. What's on the next <laughs> data skeptic? Oh yeah, we got We got to well, talk our goods. Yeah, yeah. The latest on data skeptic. We're doing something new. We're switching to a discussion about something called k-means clustering. So it's a famous algorithm. We're going to spend uh, eight to ten episodes talking all about it. So just wow. launched our first little kickoff that explains what the heck it is. If you want an introduction to k-means clustering on Data Skeptic, there'll be a test, Susan. Yeah. As long there'll as it's not week. the three x plus one Colzat Colad's conjecture hell stream. Well, uh -huh. the, the the tests will be about using k-means clustering to analyze the Colad's conjecture. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Um, I have a talk. It just came out yesterday. Uh, it came out today. It's on a podcast called the blink something. I don't know. And it's all about psychics. 
Ooh, uh, it's called, um, it's up on my Facebook page. It's called Out of the Blank, and it's just psychics. All psychics discussion, general stuff. Anything, Adrian? you got something for the skeptic zone? No, I don't. I'm not on the skeptic zone this week. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm not going to listen. I will probably uh, listen anyway. Nah, yeah. fine, <laughs> fine. Okay, uh, so I, I had a I had an article published, not oh. for Skeptical Inquirer. I did it for Russ Dobler for Darwin Week. Oh, and in fact, this is we did Darwin it, Week. We did it on Darwin Day because I wrote somewhat about evolution and the, the likelihood of uh, aliens or not. So I'll put the link there if anyone's interested. Oh, in that. that's oh, right. Yeah. That's I read that. right. I read Thank that. you. AP it was very good. I read it. The uh, APT. What is it called? A AIPT. It's called, what does that stand for? Uh, you Adventures don't know. in Poor <laughs> <No>. Taste. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's he's trying to do, it's a comic <laughs> book kind of website and they have different Popular areas. Media. And they have, and his, uh, Russ Dobler does uh, skepticism. And science. science and it's skepticism. mainly aimed at like the comic book kind of world. So the whole month of February, they're doing skeptic related articles. So yeah. Science and skepticism is basically his goal to try to preach outside the choir, which is a really good idea. It is a really good idea. Kind of the sci-fi community is obviously yeah, yeah. our aware. Okay, Peggy Peg. Okay, guys, we're going to go to stupid land now. Uh -oh. <laughs> the category oh, no. is Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, hey. Yay. <laughs> Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yay. We have to do it with an accent. Can I mute yeah. everybody at this point? I can't find the mute button. Oh, that's you Leonard's really job. want to. Leonard's job. Leonard's job. Leonard. Leonard has one job. Yes, <laughs> and one. but my my wife just got home, so I was talking to her. I'm sorry. Oh. Hi, Hello. Hello, Priva. Hi, Priva. Hi, Priva. Hi, Priva. She's just blurry Priva. at this point, but I think that's her. Right that Leonard has a job to Hi. do. Yeah. All right, I will I will mute everybody. Okay. Question number one. See if I can get it in. Oops, here we go. Who is the voice of Rocky the Flying Squirrel? Question number two is. What was the name of the male foreign spy character who was Bullwinkle and Rocky's nemesis? Number three in the same vein is, what was the name of the female foreign spy character who was Rocky and Bullwinkle's nemesis. Do we need two names for each of them? Full names or first yes, names? Yes, yes. Absolutely. It's not funny without both names. Sure it is. Number four is, what is the name of the classic stage and film actor who narrated fractured fairy tales which was an almost weekly feature on the show. Number five is for the Canadians among us, what was the name of the Canadian Mountie who was the subject, who was the subject of a featured intermittent episode on the show? Finally, a question for the Canadians. They've been feeling so left out. I've been trying. And again, um, you want both. You want the full name, right? Yeah, I yeah. Assume that until I say one name will do. <laughs> no, no, no. Both names. Both names. No, no. Both names until you hear one name will do. This number six is what is the name of Bullwinkle's hometown? First and last name on that too, Peggy. <laughs> you bet. When she was a county even. That would be interesting. <laughs> uh, 
Number seven, what was the name of the anti-gravity metal that is found in a mine that Bullwinkle inherits from his uncle and is featured in a long story arc on the show? <laughs> and number eight is... In 2019, scientists discovered that the three flying squirrel species in North America share what physical peculiarity beyond just being able to soar, fly, whatever they do when they jump around from tree to tree? And number nine is... What cereal company sponsored the show? Ooh. And number 10 is, in the 2000 live action film, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, what great American film actor played fearless leader who was the boss of the foreign spies from Pottsylvania. <laughs> There's a live action film? Well, yes, unfortunately there was. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why that may be the hardest one. <laughs> Nobody saw it. Very good. All right, any questions besides first and last names? Yes, first and last names. I want the first and last name of that American film actor. How fun. You guys are a diverse crowd. This is great. Okay. I'm gonna open all rooms. And I will put Lori in hers, which is? Two. Two, okay. Mm -hmm. All righty, righty woo. I'm going to three. See you guys soon. Hi team. Hey. I will, remember. No help. No help at all. Hi Julie. <laughs> who's got, who's got this? Always all every Sunday evening. So this is Jane's category. This is Jane. I, I I might be able to say if if somebody says a name, I know one. I might I say know. that sounds right. <laughs> I remember. I remember the Mountie. Is that Monty? The Mountie is D Dudley do right. Dudley, Dudley do right. Dudley do right. So I'll so know, I know what. if you Sam. I'll know. Him, okay, but I I don't think I'm gonna know any of these. And then I know it's Natasha <laughs> and Boris. But Natasha. she wants the last names. I don't. I don't. That. Yeah, I don't know their last names. They're married, right? So it's whatever their last names are. Julie, do you know any of these? Uh, there is a moose. <laughs> yeah, that's Bullwinkle. <laughs> you should know the voice of rocky and oh my god I, yeah i don't know so it was boris and natasha, natasha. but wasn't it like boris or something it had a name you know it was like boris yeah it was something well we got to know that she wants the I last name know. and you know what a stickler know. pecky is I know. I don't know. <laughs> Boris and Natasha. They had a last name? Yeah, they did. Boris and Natasha. Well, but they had a last name. They might have had different last names. It, it would be a play on something. Like Pots, Potsylvania is a play, you know, a play on a word. So it would be something Russian sounding, like um, right. something silly, like Boris, Natasha, stroke a lot or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Or, <laughs> woke Julie up there. <laughs> well, I thought it was a take on Karloff, Boris Karloff. Like, oh. So that was the only thing I could think of. Boris? Because Karloff, that was a famous Boris. Yeah, Boris and Natasha. Oh, come on. We got to know their last names. I like that. Put it down. All right. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know who the classic stage and film actor is. I don't either. I can hear his voice though, but I don't know who it is. The hometown? 
Oh, like, okay. That's like full wheat. That's like the fall, some kind of fall. Oh, I do remember that. Remember, remember that? I remember falls. Yes, but I don't remember the rest of it. So this category is going to be, we almost got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty not doing very well this time, Susan. Well, like, like most everybody is. Let's see. Yeah. Um, again, I think the falls is kind of like a play on something, isn't it? Like It a was. Dope? It was. It was like moose fall. Uh, I can't remember. See, I just barely have it, but I don't have moose it. Falls? Moose Falls? Well, it was it was something had that in it, but that wasn't it. I mean, it could. It was in Great Falls. It was a jokey kind of name, I think. It was, and I had a friend who had it as his hometown on his Facebook page, but I can't look it up. It was so funny. I know that's how I'm remembering it, but I can't. I can't call it up. Um. Okay, what's the anti gravity metal? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna do awful. <laughs> I I I don't even remember an anti gravity. I don't, or, I don't or, know. Uh uh. And there is no such thing as an anti gravity metal, right? So. Right. Well, no, but it would they be had, up. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So it would be like, yeah, I don't know. Okay. What about these real squirrels? Okay. Three flying squirrel species and share what physical peculiarity beyond being able to soar? Well, don't they have the wingy things? Yeah. If they do have the flat, the, the <laughs> flap of skins. Is that, is that, could that be it? It could be. I think that falls under being able to soar though. You guys, um, I'm, I'm not okay. right. I just realized Jeff was recording answers and he's gone. Is anyone writing this down? <laughs> no. Nope. I'm a guest. I don't know anything. Do we have any answers? <laughs> <laughs> I'll write them Sorry. down, but I don't know if we have any. We got number one. No, we got number five. Deadly duet. Yes, that was the only one. Yeah, Peggy. Oh, we you screwed your team. <laughs> classic, classic team curse. Jesus. Somebody, somebody's gonna know this. We've got lots of answers, but we know that they're we can't. We know we, that we the, know. they're partial. We know the hometown is something falls. Yes. Um. We know Natasha and Boris, but not the last name. Oh, so close. A uh, cereal company. General Mills. Kellogg's. <laughs> no idea. Um, and number ten. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wasn't the two thousand film where they took over Chapman University at Range? Wasn't that a, a Rocky and Bullwinkle? You know more than I do. I don't know. That's so I didn't funny. even know there was a film. Yeah, yeah. My daughter started Chapman University about that time. That's funny because I was in a movie and we filmed at Chapman University in Orange, California. Oh, really? What movie yeah. were you in, Terry? It was My called daughter. Getting Wasted. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story, Jerry. We need to hear more about that. So what was your part? It, uh, I was Were you a flying squirrel. I was just good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Uh, but yeah, that was a, yeah, I'll have to, that would be a good trivia category. <laughs> so I'm wondering if, if that was the movie and who would the American actor have been that was the fearless leader? It's a great American film actor. Agreed. How about how about uh, Patrick? Uh, what's this guy who plays uh, Captain Kirk? Um, not oh. Captain Kirk, Picard. John Stewart. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Is he American? <laughs> British. I don't. Oh well, then maybe not. <laughs> He's not a Darn great it. actor. I came up with an actor's name. I don't know. Um, 
So we have one. Oh, okay. what are we doing the Kellogg's or are we doing General Mills? Don't matter to me. So Jane, this is your category, girl. Come on. Who is who is the voice of Rocky the Flying Squirrel? It's been over 50 years. Of course, we had the we had the series for a while on on uh, DVDs. Oh, let me yell at Mark. Mark, are you within the sound of my voice? The kids have a much better memory than I do. If I could call my children, mm -hmm. <laughs> Mark. Oh, yeah. There? Oh, they're not in the house. They're in I don't know Mark's here. Let me let me let me mute myself so I can yell at him. I don't know if he would know. Is it Frosted Flakes? It's not a company. Oh, okay. So Kellogg's. He isn't there. Oh darn it. Um I think it might be Boris Karlinoff or something like that, you know. And Natasha. Yeah, I think it's Oh look at the kitty next to you. Hello, kitty. Oh the uh, good kitty kitty. <laughs> Cat's going, whoa, this is moving. This is great. Which kitty is this? Is this Robin? <sighs> This is Robin. Hi, Robin. Hey, number four, was that um was that, that guy, that big tall guy who did the horror? Bo was it Boris Karloff? Is, or was it any guess? Vincent, I don't know. Or was it Vincent Vince Price? Price? Vincent Price? I don't know. The falling, the falls. It is fall. Okay. I Could it be like Falling Falls or like uh, Crooked Falls or something s silly like. Um, yeah. Um, I thought he went to What's the Matter You? What's the Matter You? What's the Matter Oh, universe? I remember that. What's the Matter yeah. You? Yeah, that was the movie. That was the name of it? Yeah. At Chapman University. Oh, What's but we need the great American actor, not the. I know, I know. Darn so, it! Who was in that? Hometown. Oh, we're in trouble. What would be the opposite of falls? Like a, like a. Up, lift, up falls. Happen. <laughs> Um, <laughs> up, welling. up, up, upward falls. <laughs> upward falls. It was no, it was something funny, but who is gonna get all these answers? Somebody, I do, you somebody... think there's a ringer somewhere? Is it yeah. Carl? Carl, uh, probably. Yep. Um, because we have one right now, possibly two, if, if Kellogg's is correct. How about Possum Falls? Sounds like Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> sure. It was something kind of like uh, that. It was a silly kind of. It was silly, but falls. don't. What, what are you saying? Squirrel falls. Squirrel falls. <laughs> I don't know. Is everybody done, Peggy? They're getting close. I'm thinking I'm going to. Now, now I'm supposed to go back to the main room before I do this, right? Yeah. All right. So I have to go to leave room a little bit. Yeah. Breakout room. And then I'll bring you all back and that'll give you two minutes, right? No, one minute, but that's okay. We don't need it. <laughs> we don't need it. Yeah. We got one. We I might we got, got number one. nine, the cereal company. I don't know. Yeah. So we have one or two, unless it's possum falls. I'm I'm going to leave for the night. Oh, okay. we listen, Jane. But Jane. Yeah. We need no. you, Jane. We need to uh, help. <laughs> so We'll see you next time. Okay, bye, bye Jane. Good Have to see bye you. Bye-bye. Uh, she was our ringer. Wow. Well. <laughs> well, good thing we're done. Yeah, do we have oh, any? Boris Carl. I'm, I'm going to kick myself when I hear these. I just know it. I know, me too. Karloff. Um, Natasha. But it's just like that, you know? It's Kinsky. some kind of... Natasha. 
I don't know. Yeah, it's funny, and we'll kick ourselves. Yeah. All right. Good job, guys. Sort of. All right. <laughs> but a good, of. good hanging with you. <laughs> All right, I want to know, did anybody know this? Are they big? Yeah, Karen. Karen was a uh, Karen. between Karen and Carl. I, I yeah. figured that. Wow, we did fantastic. Bob knew it all. Mm. Yeah. Beware of Moose oh. and Scaverl. <laughs> I knew my dad would know except it all. For the, except for the, the bogus question about Biology. The actual squirrels, the actual squirrel. Actual, actual squirrel. Hey, rookie, watch me pull this rabbit out of my hat. Again? That trick never works. Oh, man. That just, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> she Does anybody know well. the Twilight Zone connection to the Rocky and Bullwinkle? Uh, no. no. The very last episode of the Twilight Zone. Don't say the girl, it. girl, actor, actress, that her voice was terrible. So the woman who did Rocky uh, Bullwinkle, the squirrel, rather. She did the voice over for the little oh, girl. So if you watch oh, it, episode, June. it sounds like it sounds like yeah, it sounds like the squirrel. Mm. Mm. Are you guys ready for your answers now? Yeah. 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 Number yeah. one, June Foray. Yeah. Yep. I know She's some of one. you got hey, it. It was a hard name to come back to, but look at all she, those. Hey, Carl. Yeah, she did a she lot, did a lot of, of voices. Wow. Rocky. Oh, she was Number Betty two, on the Flintstones. Boris Badenoff. Nice. Oh. I, don't, I don't care how you spelled it, but you had to do it somehow. Julie, it. Boris, come on, Boris man. Boris was bad I know, enough. we had the, the bad enough. enough. I just got that. Oh, I watched no, the show when I was a little kid, and I never got that joke. Yeah. Bad yeah. Enough. And the <laughs> bad enough. Boris Bad Enough was based on Boris Goodenough, who was this Russian czar, and it's also an opera and a play and stuff. Uh, but uh, the story, if you just look up Boris Goodenough, the, the czar, fascinating wicked nasty horrible really good story <laughs> natasha fatal oh, I, never got that uh, I would have never remembered that mm -mm. edward everett horton i know some of you know this. i saw this on some on in some answers when i heard it i'd remember it frequent oh, star God. fred astaire films yeah there he is in uh oh i think that's do which one is that so the gay divorcee i think oh yeah he was just so delightful. Yes. I think yes. All, lots of you got hey. Dudley do right. And I even heard Leonard spell it right. Way to go, Leonard. <laughs> all right, Leonard. I spelled it right, but I didn't have the hyphen. Well, then that's not right. Then it's not spelled right. You don't have to spell it right. You just have to get first and last name. But that was you know impressive. Frostbite Falls. <laughs> Frostbite. <laughs> oh, Terry. Oh, I know. Do you have to get the do you have to get the state? I don't care about the state, just the name. Did of they give it? Did they give a state? What's the state? Minnesota. You should have. It, yeah, it was based on International Falls. You should have done what? What university did uh, Bullwinkle go to? Right. What's the matter, you? What's I knew that. One. We knew <laughs> that. Not that. You, there's just too many, too many questions for Bullwinkle. Too many questions. Uh, Upsidasium. Oh, oh, oh you almost got it right. Damn. We said unobtainium. <laughs> we said upside downium. <laughs> I doubt that anybody really remembered the full. It's just <laughs> Upsidasium. Such a great name. Well, that's, that's uh, better up, upside than, down. Uh, is it close enough? No. 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 We got it right. Upsidasium. Upsidasy is the whole funny yeah, part. Upside downium, yeah, not cute. good though. <laughs> Anti gravity. Upsidasium. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, we didn't even get this right. They fluoresce. <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Really? Like under oh, under certain light, oh. they look they fluoresce pink. And there's and scientists are discovering a number of animals that are have fluorescent light and they haven't figured out why, but they do. Wow. Oh, but wait a minute. We wrote flat tails. Those look like flat tails to me. <laughs> that's after they've been run over, Rob. <laughs> but, but that's well, part of why they can fly. That's, the the tails that's not fluorescent. Yeah, they, they're like frisbees at that point. So, of course, they fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's this is a bad picture. Yes, like General, it's General Mills. Mills. Yes. Yay, Wilma. Oh, that's Wilma. Oh, no. yes, we got that one. And that's oh, the Wasamata was Youth Football Team. Yeah. Somebody oh, my God. This. I think oh, Carl oh. got this. 
We got it. Okay. Bob got them all. Got You're all. Oh, I was totally wrong. I knew he was in it. Oh, my sure God. Peggy, your slides are cereal, really nice. You do a really nice. great slide presentation. These were fun to these were fun to look up. Did did De Niro do a, a Russian accent? Yeah, he did. He did the character. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I didn't watch the film, but never heard of it. I thought the yeah. fitness leader had more of a German accent. I don't remember. All right. Let me screen share for you guys to see the the massive scores that we got, especially <laughs> Peggy's team. Yeah, I think my team was cursed. Uh, I know we were. He had me on it. That was a curse. Um, okay, Morton Ram Ranch. More on Ram Ranch. Who's speaking for Ram Ranch? Ben. Sorry, I had to step away to help my kid with something, so I missed the answer to number one. So I had to look. I it think up. we got yeah. three. One, two. Yeah, I show three out of ten. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, woo -hoo. <laughs> Okay, woo. Well, that helped right. a lot. Here's Peggy's team. We'll just ignore the world. Hashtag self care. Yeah, we're we're off doing self care tonight. Uh, we got one. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> we're tied for last place. <laughs> <laughs> Not stop long. the count. Stop the and ignoring the world. Okay, so the happy rainbow unicorn team. Hello, Rachel. Eight. Eight. Nine. Ooh. We got nine. No, we didn't get we didn't get the flying squirrels and we didn't get the cereal. You're right. We got eight. I thought one of those was a bonus. Uh, nope. Okay. Bonus. Glowing cheek plant people. We got six. Mm, okay. Okay, you're, you're in the lead. lead. You're in the lead. Stop the uh, count. Stop, uh, <laughs> Defenders of the disgusting collective of dirty mole people, they can't win with a name like that. <laughs> yes, they can. Yeah, they do. Eight. Yeah. Are they gone? Guide them. Wow. Damn. Bravo, guys. Nice work. We're still in the single digits. Two teams are still in single digits. <laughs> what? Yeah. I didn't. Yes. There's one team with a seven and one with an eight. Well, when <laughs> you get a zero and then you get a a what a one the next round? It's like, no, five it's zero nice. five three, and then the other team had two four one. <laughs> Let's do motto rules so we can keep it low. <laughs> yeah. Oh my we're god. Gonna, we're gonna switch to golf scoring. Oh my yes, god. We should. Hey, okay. lowest score wins. Woohoo! <laughs> so it's Gail's turn. Good job, Peggy. Those were fun, oh, even though I that was fun. Them. That was fun. Yeah. Good night, everybody. I'm signing Good off. Roll. Bye, Lori. Okay, Bye, Lori. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. I'm going to put a link to what I'm doing, the slideshow I'm going to show you in the chat so you can look at it. Because this one, I learned how to do this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to keep using it. So you will so need the slideshow in order. The sharing permissions are okay. We can see it. We'll find out. It's I just took it off website and it's oh, okay, okay. Us, so it's okay. All right. All right. It's our, our category is world flags. And I'm going to give oh. you the quick one with I'm flags. Give you the flags. Okay. Um, Muting first, in three, two, one. Um, if you've been watching the Olympics, um, which um, apparently in this crowd is not very popular, um, you, will, you will recognize some of them just because they're always putting them on the screen, right? But not all of them are necessarily Olympic ones. Okay, question one, or what country is this? That's why you need the slides. Right. Number two, I'm giving you a multiple choice here. Here's the flag. It's A, B, C, or D. Ghana, South Africa. Yeah, are we Africa. supposed to be well, looking at it we, now? We can't, we can't see oh, anything. I'm sorry, I did not share it, did I? Share screen. So confused. I apologize. Share screen. Here we go. Okay. Now, now you can see it. No. Now we see us again. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's go back. What country is this? You name the country that whose flag that is. And obviously there are lines 
the white against the white did not look very good. But that's a flag. Gail, I'm sorry to interrupt. We're going to be able to see these in our rooms. Is that right? I'm going to give you the link so you can look okay. at it. Okay. Which of the following countries is this flag? A, Ghana, B, South Africa, C, Hong Kong, or D, Liberia? Is Texas a country? That's why I'm making it very, very clear what the choices are. Okay, again, which of the following is this one? Is this Italy, the Netherlands, France, or Thailand? And here's another one. This is a more popular one, so I'm just going to ask you to name the country. That's, that's the flag. And how about this one? What country is that flag? Some of them are easy and some of them are not. Which of the following countries has this flag? The British Virgin Islands, B, New Zealand, C, the Falkland Islands, or D, Australia? Okay, number seven, whose flag is this one? Number eight, which of the following countries has this flag? Is it Mongolia? Iran, Iraq, or Myanmar? Number nine, this one's a multiple choice and the flags are the choices. One of those four flags is the flag of Germany. Is it A, B, C, or D? That is the German flag. And number 10, whose flag is this one? Name the country. And we do have a bonus. Uh, the only country that has a flag that is not a rectangle. Is it A, Nepal, B, Liberia, C, Sierra Leone, or D, South Africa? Okay, I will put the link in the chat. Are there any questions? I don't see the link yet. Very straightforward. Still don't see a link, yeah. Calm down, let her put it in the chat. There There's the link. There we go. I can successfully view the document. All right, we are okay. set. Good. Well, straightforward, Gail. Good job. Hey, that, we'll get through the We needed a special simple one this time. Right? Okay, we're going to get through this a lot quicker this time. Okay, send us to our room, Gail. Uh, okay. Uh, how do I send it to you? I can, I can do it if you want. I could push the button right now. No, nope. you want to? Uh, breakout rooms, yeah. open all rooms? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'll see room four. Hello, team. Hey, hey. Nice to join you. Who's our flag expert here? Um, I know we know some of these. I got a few. One, or I'm pretty sure, is Greece. That's what we were guessing. At Greece? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. That sounds Two, right. Two, Two, we believe. I was Liberia. like, is that Sweden? But I have no idea. No, Sweden is number five. Well, that's not number five. Oh, so two. Or, or excuse me. Slide five. So number two is um, Liberia. How sure are you about that? Um, Ghana's flag is yellow, red, and has a black star in the middle. Um, South Africa has is similar colors with bars across it. Um, Hong Kong, do they even have a flag? But I don't think I think it's Liberia. But I think it's, it's Liberia. It's based on the American flag because they were. Okay. Like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, for me. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. This is um, Italy. Yeah. No, it's not no this is not Italy's flag. It's either France or the Netherlands. Oh, I also heard someone else say the Netherlands. Yeah, I think it's Netherlands. Not wow, sure. how odd to have something so common looking, you know? Well, and it's it's the like France's flag is basically the same, but the colors are in different order. I know That's this it just seems like let's design a flag. I think you should come up with something a little better three stripes like that but this is, this is maybe sweden. they were rushed this is sweden. <laughs> finland's flag i believe or finland's flag is like white and red so, what <laughs> do you, so who is this sweden 
Those are Ikea's colors. <laughs> oh, how interesting. I had not thought of that. Okay. Yeah. Vietnam. Is that Vietnam? Mm -hmm. That's what Romero thinks. I was guessing North Korea, but I had no basis. I don't know sure what it was like. Pretty, yeah, pretty sure it's Vietnam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number six, I want to say is New Zealand, but Romero disagrees well, with no, me. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. With those little, he's got the four stars. That's the yeah, I don't know problem. what the four stars. I think New Zealand has the the Big Dipper in it or something. Doesn't it have like a the star? Four stars. The four stars is the Southern Cross constellation. Oh yeah, yeah, huh? Mm -hmm. So it would be well, it could be Falkland Islands, Australia too, <laughs> because they're all down there, right? The Falkland Islands is a country. Yes, it's a technically a territory of. Uh, this is all Britain's shit right here. Yeah, but it says country, which country? Right, but Australia is still part of the British Empire, technically. Oh, the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth, yeah, their country. But didn't the Falkland Islands, they fought with uh, Argentina. But they're part of the Commonwealth. Yeah, I don't think it's Australia. It's um, New Zealand. It's New Zealand? I believe it's New Zealand. I, I, I no guess. Sounds sounds good. Mm -hmm. The New Zealand we're going for for now. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Everybody should know the next one. Brazil. It looks like a corporate. Is that Brazil? Flag. It's Brazil. Is it Brazil? Oh <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah yeah. Okay. Maybe it's Iraq. We were guessing Iraq. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Works for me. C, right? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Number this is D. E. Yep. Yeah. That yeah, was easy. I'm like, oh, I know what the German flag. Is. Yeah. That. Yeah. That one wasn't too hard. Okay. Oh crap! I just realized we have the French flag sitting on our table. Why? <laughs> um, we Romero got a universal Yum subscription, and this week is from France. Uh-huh. So did you say a yum subscription? Universal yums. Are you sure it's China? That's that was my guess. Yeah. I was thinking China too, but then I don't know these things very well. I had China as well. Okay. Unless she's doing things that are similar to be more difficult, but my guess was China for that. That's what I had written down. And the bonus that is Nepal. Nepal is the only flag. That is not a rectangle. Or a weird. Very weird, huh? See, I like, at least that it's a different shape. I like, you know, like um, Brazil's flag is cool. Like America is obviously a very easily identifiable. I, all these flags are just, it's three different color stripes, like in different, I'm like, come on, people, be, be more. Yeah, well, see, that's what, like Brazil, that's at least something that took some, you right. know. Exactly. Yeah, that's Francis. And then, it's of course, some work to do. A very specific looking flag. So, mm -hmm. and then you get stuff yeah. like this where you're all like, uh, it's just three colors. Because there's a and whole bunch is, of countries that are like that. That is the Netherlands because France is in reverse. Mm -hmm. And I know that we can. Because you, you can see the French one on your table, huh? Yep. <laughs> yes. We had French candy. And, and that's Texas, candy. obviously. <laughs> Liberia. <laughs> all right. I think we have an answer for everything. That's good. I think we got a better ch shot this time than. <laughs> God, How have you guys been so. doing with your your categories? We need the points. Oh, we we're we, like, we, we yeah. hopefully should break double digits this time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think we. Are, yeah, we feel very confident. Not necessarily eight either. points. We're not in last place, right? We're in second to last. Second we, last. Second if to last. we get all ten and the bonus, can we get eleven? <laughs> <laughs> we sure need it. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to hear that my topic was not bothering you. Uh, no, I think that was, I think was... everybody is being getting done rather quickly. Okay, bring yeah, us this back. Was, this was fun, Gil. I liked it. Yeah, it good was. job, Gil. I like. Your I think we job. needed an easy one after that. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these... Thanks for doing a category that didn't kill your own team. Oh my god! <laughs> well, you know, I love having categories where you get to learn info, but sometimes some categories are just like the questions are like a mile long. Every question, you're just like, oh my gosh, this is just a lecture. 
Yeah, it's all like, no, well, I just I, like I've learned a lot tonight. Like, What's the answer to this? What's the answer to this? Boom. It's nice to have a nice short round sometimes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I had a lot of fun since I've learned how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> it's good that the uh the that's the whole goal out, is not great. to socialize and it's my whole goal with you guys is to teach you how to use this technology yeah there you you're go. gonna come out of this pandemic with at least that <laughs> yeah. hey i learned how to use zoom and powerpoint and share screens and all sorts of stuff google yeah. documents and mm -hmm. yeah good job team and how to yeah yeah Yesterday was minus 10. The day before that was like plus 10. And by the the weekend with two days away, it's supposed to be a high of minus 25. Hey, we need for one minute. Oh, oh yeah. that's cold. It's supposed to get cold again. Yeah. Can we go that's, back for one minute. That's definitely cold. Yeah, we, we need another minute. That, that we need a minute. Quick. We're in the middle of the last one. Five, up up. Can we have a minute? Can I? You have Dale. Ben, you're not in charge of us. You're Dale. not the boss of us. I'm in charge of whatever I want to put myself in charge of. <laughs> Gail's in charge of us. Apparently okay. not, because Gail. Gail said we can go back. Thank you, Gail. All right, you guys have fun. That's a team that's in that's way in the lead, so you shouldn't have given them extra point. <laughs> yeah. An extra time. Jeez. I mean, they're like Stop double the everybody count. else in points. Stop the count. I tried to deny it, Susan, but I got overridden. <laughs> so now I need an, I need another next book because I'm going to be done with uh, The Martian soon. Oh, are you going to try Artemis? Uh, probably. It really oh, I've got some like really the, good. The I've got a really good deal. Do like, I don't know. You like sci-fi, sci right? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, let me see what I've got in my album. Have you, you like, read all the classics? And you like the Audible stuff. Yeah, I don't mind it. Have you done uh, Hidden Figures? I just downloaded that. I have. I saw the movie, but I've got the book. Which one? Hidden Figures. Oh, okay. That might be good. I've, I've got it. I haven't listened to it yet. I assume you've read all the sci-fi classics. All of them? Probably not. <laughs> no. But things like uh, Dune. Oh, yeah. Foundation and um, The Moat and God's Eye. Well, yeah, I read that. Do you like mysteries? Mysteries are cool. Rebecca. I could uh, yeah. go for some. Uh, I could. I could read some Edgar Allan Poe. I always like to his stuff, even though Leonard. it's a little, you know. I love. And Rebecca. you might. You a might. Stabby. Yeah, the Moat and God's Eye was a really good book. Yeah, we read that for the same class I had to read Dune for. We read the that Moton God's Eye and and Canical for Leibowitz, which we were yeah. talking about. People had to Leibowitz. read Dune. Yeah, why don't you call them back? It I know a, they, they've got to be done by a, now. Okay. It was a literature class. It was the novel, but it was a science fiction section of of the novel, lit, oh. uh, English class. Yep. Adrian, I um, I didn't even buy the next book. Didn't even buy the last book because. My mom uh, and all of the stuff has just been taking up so yeah. much of my time. But yeah, no time just, to read. Yeah, so I can't. I can't. The I have last no one was time pretty to good. Read. Pardon me. That last one was pretty interesting. Ben, get read did, Mark's uh, book, uh, Psychic Blues. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's uh, expanded version on audio. Um, yeah, I might have to do, I might do the, the Expanse books because I've been reading, I blew through all the Expanse books, but um, I'm like the second to the last book and I'm just Wait, the what? Expanse. The Expanse. Those are pretty good. good. What is that? I was talking about series. an expanded book. I don't know what an Expanse no, book is. No, the Expanse, it's a, it's a, it's a series that they turn, they turned it into a series on Amazon Prime. Oh, I didn't know. No, I was talking really about this book too. expanded. Yeah, it's yep. a great series. And the books are, very, the books very are good fabulous. Spaceship very well written. Yeah, they're good. So I may, I may do some audio books on that because it's just, it's so much easier to find time to listen to something because I can listen while I'm working instead of, you know, finding time to actually read a book. Okay, okay answer. Ready for back, so yep. Everybody should be back. Yep. Uh, I think we're ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. First one is Greece. 
Yay. Yay. I remember that. The next one oh. is Liberia. And I heard yes. one thing who noticed it's based on the American flag, so you could figure that yes. out, right? Yes. The Netherlands? Yes. There is a lot of flags with those colors and stripes, but there that's the one with that and that particular Sweden. Yay. Sweden. Yay. I think we need to talk ourselves out of that one. This yes. Wow. Yay. That one. Okay. This is New Zealand. Yes. I could not. not Australia. Australia. <laughs> Australia is similar, but it's not Australia. Are there, are there four islands making up New Zealand? No, that's the Southern Cross constellation. Ah. Uh, which wouldn't have helped because you could also see those from uh, Australia. Australia. Mm -hmm. And in, Aus in also, the Australian you flag. see them in Hawaii. In the Australian flag, the Southern Cross has a fifth star near the center. Ooh. Uh, uh, good to know. Yeah, they're confusingly similar. Yeah. And that one is Brazil. Oh. oh, oh it is. No. Right. Oh, because it's Farsi. Yeah, That's why it's an Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Okay. And I think you all got this one. Yeah, is Germany. Yeah, <laughs> and number 10, that is oh, China. If right. you've been watching the Olympics, it's there all the time. <laughs> what do the stars represent? Does anybody know? I don't know. Stars. Yeah. Oppression. And <laughs> and the, the number of free people in the niche. <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> um, okay, and the last one is Nepal. It's the yeah, only right. flag that isn't a rectangle. Wow. We had, ja we had Jamie on our team. Wow, such no good form. If, if you turn it up on its side, it looks like the Himalayas. Oh, <laughs> oh that's the one way of remembering it. Well, okay, I didn't know. I didn't help at all on my team, so. Good job, my team. <laughs> I will put the list of answers in the chat, and I also have a link if you want to see the answers. Okay. Here's the here's the list. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. good. I had a lot of fun doing it. That was fun. Excellent. That was and I think scores will go up on this one. Yes, but I think it's going to go all up in relative. Um... <laughs> right. It's not going to change the rank. I think it's going to mm -hmm. be about the, yeah, wherever you were is where you stay. All right. So let's start with, uh, let's just ignore the world. Hashtag self-care. Eight. Okay. Hey. So more on, more, yeah. more on Ram Ranch. <clears throat> Can we please have oh, all 11 points? If we have all 11. We, have 11. we, we could really use that bonus point. <laughs> <laughs> this is the team that uh, was Gail's team. Okay. The, Thank you, Gail. The Happy Rainbow Unicorn team. Hello, Rachel. Turn it up to 11. 10, 10 for you. Okay. Then let's go down here. The Glowing Cheek Plant People. 10. Otherwise, otherwise known as 11. And, uh, <laughs> defenders of the disgusting collective of mole, dirty mole people. Ten One. out of 11. One? 10 out of 11. <laughs> A real 10. Not okay, well, at least these scores are looking less embarrassing, but <laughs> <laughs> we're all out of, we're all into double digits. <laughs> <laughs> this The maximum points where we're at right now is 40. So just, just Keep that in mind. Some, some of us aren't. I have a yeah. quick question: Is, is anybody located? That. Is anybody located in in Los Angeles? Kyle, have Kyle you heard of the Toka? The Toka place, T O C A. Oh, did they the, fall in the ocean or something? Toka, no. What is it? Oh no, it's a um, it's a music hall. My band, my friend's band's playing there. It's the music of Billy Joel by the original players. <laughs> of course, I had to get it in in May. The original okay. guys, 150 would, million. Would it be a trivia night without a Billy Joel? I had to get it in there. Kevin. <laughs> also, we got to start having a pool. Nobody but Kevin mentioned Billy Joel. Nobody but Kevin. 
but, He's but dead big, big, four the big news on an on a Beatles thing. I've been who's selected to photograph. Who, who um, is Yoko this Billy Joel that you speak of? You're gonna you're gonna, gonna photograph Yoko, Yoko Ono and her children, Sean ooh. and um, ooh ooh her Sean child. And, Doesn't she only yeah. have one? No, two. Um, I can't think of his name. What I'm drawing a blank. Just just please tell Jason, me. Jason, Justin, name. Justin, no, Gordon, Julia, the guy who sings. Who, 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 yeah, his name is starts with a J. Julian. Julian. Julian, Julian, Julian is Julian. not Julian Yoko's son. Ju Ju no, Sean and Julian Lennon. And Yoko oh, yeah, yeah. One of them is. That I'm going to photograph. Oh. Just as long as she's not going to sing because her, what she she's in a wheelchair. singing is, is, is she? terrible. Yeah. I didn't know she's vocalization. So we have round four in the Billy Joel pool, and Susan <laughs> still hasn't said Washington yet. <laughs> in the other. Pool. Excellent. Excellent point, Kyle. So I have to, I have to pop, stop putting money on it. I now. love hanging out with y'all. Okay, so Peg, uh, Robin has a bonus for us, apparently. Yes, I do have a bonus. Okay. The, the bonus question is this. <coughs> this is a bird watching question. Uh -oh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. There, there are 23 species of woodpeckers in the United <laughs> States. And by United States, I mean United States and Canada because Canada doesn't have any woodpeckers that we don't have. They, they don't have a border crossing problem? With, There's no border crossings. Do woodpeckers. woodpeckers have to show their papers when they cross the border? <laughs> <laughs> they have to have their beak cleaned. Woodpeckers mostly don't cross borders. They're pretty stationary little birds. Anyway, there are 23 species in the United States and name 10. Oh my God! No mono rules, <laughs> Rob. Robin, no does, mono rules. No. Just does, name the, ten. does these birds have to have woodpecker as part of their name? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So if you Fred, had, George. you know, let's say you had one called <laughs> Ringo Clyde's Woodpecker, that would Woody. be the formal well, name for instance, of the bird. For instance, there's like lots of different kinds of ducks, but not all of them are called mallard ducks some of them are just called some other bird name but they actually are ducks right but it has to have the word woodpecker right. in it yeah yes it has some, okay. well no no it has, does not have to have the woodpecker in the word woodpecker in it because okay. yeah, it there are species be... of woodpeckers that might not the formal name right, of that right, yeah. woodpecker okay, might not be right. might not have the uh, word about, woodpecker in it okay that's what, what about I um uh, possibly and that's to our rooms but what about possibly non-existent or extinct woodpeckers? Yeah, extinct or, woodpeckers do not count. Well, how about possibly not, rumored to be ex existing, but no one's seen them in decades? If, if you have been photographing birds, Bobby Leonard, is. be quiet. You'll be good at this. I know no, what you're talking good. about, Leonard, and no, that's not on the list. You're not going to okay. count it? Uh, Stop giving hints. Okay, so hint Muting in get three, that. two, one. <laughs> You want Why to say something muted? to us? Can we go to our rooms? You, you're going to send us to our rooms, Robin? You are muted. Robin, you're muted. I can't. I can't send you to your rooms. No, I don't have a power to no, do it. You don't have the powers. Boom. Thanks, Rob. Rob's got it. You have the powers. I'm looking right at him. Ah, oh, gotta force these people. Oh, and I get, that means I have to go too. Oh. Sure. sure. That'd be great. Hi, yes. Hi, Hi, Susan. I will be of no help whatsoever for you. Can I give the two that are in my backyard all the time? Yeah, Fred and George? Their first names? Yeah. One is uh, Freddie the Flicker, and the other is Doug the Downy Woodpecker. <laughs> right so the so freddie the flicker is a is a northern flicker uh, yes a northern flicker that's correct and uh there's the downy woodpecker yes uh and the the downy and there's another one that looks almost identical to the downy that's hard to tell apart oh, hairy the hair, hairy oh, woodpecker. Oh, yes, that's right. Yep, yep. The downy and hairy woodpeckers are yep. hard to tell apart. Um, there's the pileated woodpecker. Oh, yes. How about the 
you, you the Canadian it's P, woodpecker. P I L E A T E D. E A T E D. And Woody woodpecker said, <laughs> "Thinking about Woodard." Yeah, I, I think got that one. I think Woody is a redheaded woodpecker. That's right. Oh, I think I've heard of that. A woodheaded, <laughs> redheaded woodpecker. Right. The woodpecker that um, I was thinking of that Robin said does not count is the ivory billed woodpecker. But she said that doesn't count. How about a duck oh. duck billed platypus water? Woodpecker? <laughs> I don't think there's such a woodpecker. There um, ought to be. It should be a rule. They've got some pretty funny names. Uh, no. My favorite is the yellow bellied sapsucker. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. Is it real? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a woodpecker. Is that here? Do they have woodpeckers in other countries? Yes. <laughs> they have them in, uh, in, in Canada. That's another country. Although <laughs> some people call Canada America's hat. That's right. Um, what else is there? There's a, there's another sap sucker. Uh, I'll put that down. There's another. There's, <laughs> there's the red naped sap sucker, and the Williamson's sap sucker. And sap sucker is one word. Oh, okay. Did we get the nut holes woodpecker? N U T T A L, I think. And then did you say Williamson or something? Yeah. Williamson sapsucker. Okay. I think. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. That would be nine, the nut hole. What else? The uh, nut holes woodpecker. Knuckles? Nut holes. N U T T A L. Nuttles. And I don't remember. I don't remember. It's one L or two. Nut holes sap sap. Woodpecker. Woodpecker. Yeah. Nuttles. And there's another flicker. Hmm. And I'm trying to remember, it's something like Golden Flicker, but it's not. Gilded Flicker. Ooh. What is it? Gilded? Gilded. Gilded Flicker. Gilded. I've been spending a lot of time recently looking at pictures of birds in bird guides. As one does. Well, when, when trying to identify the birds in the pictures I've been taking. Is that how you spell gilded? It doesn't look right. Does it I think it is. Gilded flicker? You would think it'd gilded have a flicker. U in there somewhere. Yeah. Or a couple more R's. Because <laughs> I add R's to everything. Gildered? My kids say I add an R to everything. Yeah. Susan, have you seen the, have you seen any of the pictures I put up recently? Yes, I have. They're very pretty. Yeah, there's. Uh, I don't know what one bird from another, but I was really I lucky. Appreciate I appreciate the the beauty of the photo. I was standing fifteen feet away from a big flock of birds in the water, mm -hmm. uh, oh, in the baylands, and a northern harrier, a oh, kind of hawk, swept down, and they just exploded into the air. Wow. Oh, geez. Um, and I just ported my camera and held the, the shutter release down until the uh, buffer <laughs> built. Oh, I have to tell Adrian something. Um, today, I was walking. Um, I can't remember exactly where I was walking, but a jackrabbit almost came up right to me. Well, that's unusual. Yeah, Daddy, that really is unusual. The jackrabbit was like right there. 
two feet from me. Wow. In the snow? Yeah, I Speaking bent a- down and was going to like, like just to had my hand out and then it kind of jumped away from me. But right. that's, that's really unreal because they usually stay then, pretty far away. Oh boy. They, they dart by, but this one just like was just let me pass like right there yeah. and just it was the most amazing thing I had ever seen. So well, we had a speaking. Is of that your flicker practice. in the backyard in, in your background? Yes, that's my in my backyard at my yeah. feeder. <laughs> that's your that's a flicker. That's a nor- yeah, northern flicker. They're really pretty. Yeah. Do well, I have northern flicker? Yep. Uh, we have them oh. here. And I was under the understanding that they actually don't stay here through the winter, but we have a, a male and a female that stayed the whole winter. So I don't know if that's unusual or, you know. You must have up. a, uh, do you have a heated um, overhang <laughs> and feeder? Don't we, I have a heated bird bath, but I don't have anything else. It's, it's right. it, and it was out and about <laughs> minus Well, <three. laughs> as Canadian birds are. <laughs> Canadian birds are always out in the boot. Out in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they have a vaccination card. Yeah, so there you go. Looking at my answers, do I have them all right? I think so. We've got 10. Okay. Yep. Uh, I don't think we need more. Nope. I think those are all woodpeckers. So I'm just learning about birds. It's amazing when you add a heated bird bath, how many more birds you get in your backyard. Hmm. Cool. Especially, I don't think that anything would, uh, I don't think that would work around here. I don't think it would work around here. We would probably just get b- birds cooked, cooked birds or something. Yeah, we'd get mosquitoes or something. I don't uh, think that would work. Yeah, I just don't think that would. It's yeah. just been beautiful over here. So I'm going to stop sharing then. Yep, that's good. All right. Be that way. Be greedy. See if we care. Oh, I know. But we, we had oh. actually a, 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 a hair raising experience on our street. Hair raising, get it? Uh, <laughs> so was it my, my name, I'm sorry? Because of the jackrabbit? Yeah, there's a jackrabbit that um, actually met its end in a rather interesting way. We have a resident bobcat and Ooh. it decided to catch one of the, the jackrabbits in my neighbor's backyard. And Excellent. Kill it. And then Excellent. dragged it down the street. The, the, it was about as big as the bobcat, this jackrabbit. It was crazy. Wow. She had the video of this thing dragging it down our street. <laughs> where, oh, where do you breakfast. live, Adrian? In Calgary. With, oh, okay. Yeah. And we live in an area, well, most of Calgary has a lot of sort of nature interwoven into the, you know, there's bicycle paths and walking paths and ravines. And as a result, we have a lot of nature that's in the city. And a lot of coyotes, a lot of deer, moose, uh, hares, elk. and bobcats. <laughs> elk, caribou. I've never seen a caribou or an elk. I think we're too far in the prairie. Yeah. Polar bears? <laughs> Sorry? Polar bears? Polar bears. Polar bears. No, we're too far <laughs> south yeah. for that. No, no, yeah, we, we have. All right, grizzly bears. <laughs> Look at behind Vincent. There's a bear right back there. I can see him looking through the foliage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be impossible. Where yeah, we, we have lots of grizzlies about an hour and a half away from us, but uh, yeah. not many make it to us. No. That's probably for the best. Oh, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we'll see you out there. Good well, job, guys. I didn't no. do anything but just sit here. <laughs> That's great. A wild well, Julie we, has appeared. We're keeping yeah. our streak 23, alive. 23, Karen, not 20, 23. What? What happened? No ivory build. No uh-huh. ivory build because it's probably extinct. So it yeah. wasn't on the My list. friend Mary Jane saw one 15 years ago. Why are we giving answers? We just got back. What happened? No, she, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. She, <laughs> but she reported one. She, she okay, thinks she you're did. right. She reported you, one. Yeah. You got to do it. <laughs> So, you know, there's a pileated woodpecker and the ivory billed woodpecker is like probably twice the size of a pileated woodpecker. So, no did we miss, uh, it's Robin, did we miss? We just got back. It sounds like you're like 
reviewing answers that you already did. Am I confused? No. 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 Don't worry, Rob. You didn't miss anything. Well, is everybody back? Yeah, they think they're all back now. Okay. You're back yet. So <laughs> <laughs> I just posted the you link. You're going to do it there. in the and the bullwinkle voice or something. I thought I did. I <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna do it in a woodpecker voice uh -huh. right. so if you uh -huh. click on that link <laughs> is everybody ready to hear the answers yes yes hey okay. i rebuild is on this list it's not on this list okay 23 species the 23 species are the acorn woodpecker hey. The American three-toed woodpecker. Oh. Three toes. Aren't they pretty? Look at them. I saw one of those in, oh, no, it was, it was a black bag. That Arizona woodpecker looks it badass. Does. Do you want to screen share as you read them? Well, I. You can, you can look at it. I, I put the link. I put the link there. So I don't know how to screen share. I got, I got, I have, got it. I already have it up, so I'll put it on. Okay. I got it. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Good idea. And right, so so so, you know, it, it, okay, here we are in California. We have acorn woodpeckers all over the place. Everybody really? Should noisy. Know what they are noisy. They are noisy. They are everywhere. For example, Peggy at, at the courthouse, acorn woodpeckers are everywhere. Red belly. The, the, the one I just complained about that's down the road that keeps me up in the middle of the morning. Yeah, maybe. Huh. One of those. You know what, Bob? I think the cactus is the Arizona. Yeah, the red belly. Yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah, look at that Arizona. Is, it, Arizona. It just looks like a badass. It really does. Black back. Now, the mo one of the most common in the United States is the downy woodpecker. I've never seen any of these birds. Are they in sure my backyard? You sure, you, you have. probably heard them. You have you have downy woodpeckers, woodpeckers in your backyard. Oh, I, I see. The yeah. Gila woodpecker is in Arizona. Yeah. Down there. The gilded flicker is down there in Arizona also. Just, yeah. Golden front of woodpecker also down there in the south. Mm. Hairy woodpecker, common all over the United States and Canada. There's the ivory bill. The, the ivory oh, bill is the ivory on the bill. list. Okay, I guess if you if you put it on your list, I'll take it. But uh the That's last, not even, fair. last acceptance. We didn't because you said you would. We said not. Okay, okay, never mind. No, 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 wait a minute. We did because we didn't believe you. So we're right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladder backed woodpecker, Lewis's woodpecker, northern flicker. So if you put red shaft of flicker or yellow shaft of flicker, I'll take either one, but you get oh, one point yeah. for that. Uh, oh. They've been lumped into northern flicker. Oh. Nettles well, that... woodpecker, which is in my backyard here in. And and uh, Jasper, the, it's, yes. it's Central California. Affiliated yeah, woodpecker. Affiliated. Red-bellied woodpecker is in the. Uh, are we in Central oh, California? No. Yes, the yes. Uh, red-breasted sapsucker. Oh, oh. And, uh, red we said red-bellied. Oh. It's yellow-bellied. Would red yellow-bellied red red is in Virginia <laughs> mostly. Red-headed. Oh, we got that. We have that. Yeah, one, I think. White-headed. White-headed. White-headed woodpecker you see in the yellow Sierra. bird sapsucker. Yes. Oh. Williamson's. I don't think there's any of these in my backyard. I don't know anything about any. You have of nettles in your backyard. Bad, bad, I guarantee. Bad. I have what? Nettles woodpecker in your backyard. Nettles. Uh, yeah. With oh, a little red head. They don't come on my feeders. Are they big? Because I have bird feeders, but I've never seen any of these on my bird feeders. Is that an, is that right? Because I'm not. No, they don't come food. to a bird feeder. No, unless you have suet. They can, like I just, can I just? Can um, I just? Is uh, downy woodpecker one of them? Yeah, yes. that was downy woodpecker. Okay. Uh, they replaced and the woodpecker. Red-headed woodpecker. Red-headed woodpecker, yes. Yeah. And yellow-bellied sapsucker. Sap, sap 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 yellow-bellied sapsucker. Okay. So when did the yellow-shafted and the red-shafted flickers get <sighs> combined? I'm not sure. We could Google that. Could we 
have points for both of them. We didn't <laughs> I know they were so. combined yet. I don't think so. I think if you get you get either one of those, you can get a point. When I grew you up, think you got shafted by the shafted shafts of flickers. <laughs> I you know. <laughs> so so these come to my backyard, but I never see them. But they're there. You're saying. They the just don't come I, I think you. I think you have nettles in your backyard. Carl, I just texted you. But they come to my back. Not the feeder, but the, like they'll be in the tree. Uh, like, it, yeah, ask your cats. They might fly around your neighborhood and be. I can hear you, Carl. Okay. It. Is, I say is it all depends on the ivory build. Yeah. Red, <laughs> the ivory build was on your list. Are you counting it? It said it was on the list. We would have had it on I, our list. I didn't realize it was on the list. At first, I said no, no extinct birds. It's it's definitely an extinct bird. But no, it's on no, your no, list. It you know what? I tell you what, because. Because scores are going to be low. If you put ivory build woodpecker on your list, I'll take it. Oh, we would have put it on low. ours. No, but we didn't that. because you told us uh, not. Oh, we That's did because we were right. No. Okay, if you if you were gonna put it on, then go ahead and put. put no. So it's, it says by the. Uh, <laughs> we'll trust you. That's fair. It said the last accepted sighting was in 1944. Yeah. It's widely agreed the species is likely extinct. It likely, likely. They logged its habitat to make crates for the war. I will count it as a bonus one. <laughs> yeah, it's still it's still counted by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service as endangered. Is it one of twenty three, yeah. or is that twenty four? Well, it's on the list. So if you put so it, it, it or if you were going to put it. Go ahead and count. It's it. one of twenty three. You said twenty three. It's one my of the friend, twenty three. My friend Mary Jane saw one about fifteen years ago, and she has no. a nice hat made out of it, so oh. she can prove that she saw no. it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it, it. You hear the call. Seven, eight, we're recording this. They, we, Sorry, I, Mary Jane, if you're listening to this. The police are calling right now. They want yeah, to know the name. Where I have a dead place? downy <laughs> under my deck right now Aww. 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 okay so let's do our scores let's see if we can make ourselves proud in the last two rounds might be a squeaker so mm. let's start with we'll just ignore the world hashtag self <laughs> what was that <laughs> the dog bark. one uh -huh. oh julie i thought we got two good one really you don't think we got yellow belly we got yellow bellied woodpecker, but it's yellow bellied sap sucker. Fine. Red breasted? It's it was also the wrong combination of words. There's a red breasted sap sucker and a red bellied woodpecker, which was I'm not honored really to be on a team with someone who is so honest. Give them extra <laughs> point. I think I think they should get an extra point for having two that were close to right. Yes. Wait a minute. They could combine, they could combine those. Yeah, two half yeah, exactly. They're going to be the only thing keeping us from this. Like, go ahead. Two. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Moron <laughs> Ram Ranch. Oh, man. Uh, five. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Peggy. Oh. This is okay. this is your wine category, okay, Peggy? <laughs> 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 okay, the Happy Rainbow Unicorn Team. Nine. Nice. Oh, wow. bird nerds, Ooh. bird nerd alert. Oh, first <laughs> place. <laughs> Glowing cheek plant people. Ten. Oh. Oh. Leonard was the ringer in that, in that one. How would you guess? Yeah. Oh no! I don't know. I, I've never seen birds oh, Wait, what, what do we need? What do we need to win here? What do we oh, need? No. We need what okay, do we, so we defenders of the disgusting have. collective of dirty mole people. Five. Yay for the very disgusting. Oh my god, really? Close. Oh my god. That's, that's, why, god. that's why we're fighting close. for the ivory of yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I was close. Uh-huh. Nice. A squeaker uh, today. Won uh, by so an ivory runner. build woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly extinct animal. <laughs> no, it's extinct. It's extinct. Tell the oh. fish and wildlife service that. <laughs> none of none of this uh it's just oh. we none of us want to admit it. Oh. It's still possible because bird watchers are always hoping that some he's know, mostly dead. Who <laughs> 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 said that? Leonard. 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 Bird watchers make false identifications. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. 
When I was a kid, there were two flickers. Nobody ever told me otherwise. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's why I I'm said if you saying. if you got either one of the flickers, then call They're it. You know, of, it's been lumped. Yes. It was red shafted and yellow shafted. Now it's been and lumped. And we put them so both got, down. And you get separate. one. Because I know. One. That's two why two we didn't get ten points. Because they were still oh. two species for us. <laughs> so you got Robin take, shafted. Take a look at Adrian's background. Yes, I noticed. can't find Adrian. Yeah. Oh, there she is. She's the one with the flicker. She's the one with the flicker in the background. I see her. I'm just oh. getting hit by a bird. Is that the golden, the golden flicker? Northern. Northern flicker. Well, she's yeah, in. Well, the sweater matches the background. Adrian, she's, are you okay? She's it looks like in, you're in an Alfred Hitchcock Elgary. movie. Of course, it's a golden <laughs> flicker. <laughs> she's being attacked by the birds. The birds. <laughs> Leonard, you're around birds a lot. You ever get attacked by any of them? Hummingbirds. Yeah. Really? They're mean little suckers. What? Yeah, you, you you go near their nests accidentally and they will yeah. dive bomb you. The very oh, and barred owls. Leonard, barred owls nesting now. Are Anna's hummingbirds awful. are nesting now. I saw a video yep. the other day on the internet that some hummingbird like goes to this guy's house they'll go and wait outside the window the guy opens the window and then he holds the hummingbird oh, food oh, and yeah. then the hummingbird will just wait for him to open the door and then come feed we had, a hummingbird. Regular occurrence. It's we crazy. had a hummingbird here that as soon as she opened the door it just came in the house and oh. finally just gave up and hung the hummingbird feeder in the house. <laughs> nice. Oh, really? Nice. Wow. I mean, we couldn't keep them out. That's so funny. They're remarkable animals. I've always wondered if they ever actually run into anything, other than windows, obviously they do, but if they, if they ever run into anything like a person with their little sharp little faces? I don't know, but they, 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 they can buzz you awful close without hitting you. Yeah, I know. They might buzz me, but they're just because I'm feeding them. I'm not near their nest, so they don't. They're not aggressive. They're just hungry. Yeah. The I thought it was great that you got off. pictures of actual hummingbirds where you can see their wings. Yeah, yeah. Leonard. Like, what do you have to have your your speed set for that? That's just crazy. One yeah. one two thousandth of a second. They 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 flap their wings so fast. Yeah, yeah Leonard got some good shots of hummingbirds. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He had some great shots. Yeah. I like yeah, bird yeah, bro, we ah. have a hum we have a hummingbird uh, nest in our tree in the backyard. Yeah. And they their beaks are soft. They yeah. will come if we're sitting on the deck, they will come right to us. <laughs> and we and and um they we have several hummingbird feeders there. And if you touch them, it's surprising because we expect a hard beak. Yeah. They're not. They're soft. Yeah. They're oh, okay. mm. I've never touched one of their beaks. I've had them, like I've rescued them when they've hit the window a few times and, and kind of like held them until they revived. But I never tried touching their beak. It's leathery. They look it's like a leathery texture. Yeah. It wouldn't hurt you. No. Because hmm. I remember they have to get inside the flowers, right? Without, without, without damaging. Tearing, tearing it, I guess. Here, let me, uh, let me share my screen. Yeah, show them a picture. Cool. Share, share some pictures. I like the bird picture. I know if I stand out there when they're really hungry, they'll come right up to my face. Oh, look at mm. that. Yeah. That looks massive, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, see, that's look at there. great. That you got a real good, good picture good. of wings on that one. Yeah, that's really good. And even at a two thousandth of a second, the wings blurred there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm. crazy. Oh, that's a couple of that. these. A couple of these look uh, fake. Yeah. I assure you, they're not. Um, I like when their wings are forward like Well, that. I thought all birds were drones and birds. Yeah. 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 So not. this guy was that actually is eat, was actually nice. uh, ate a uh, bug out of the air. Wow. I wonder oh, what wow. he was doing. That's so cool. Yeah. I like That's that. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, they uh, do you that. can see the bug. Oh, there it oh, is. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. nice. Uh, so I did not know this. I thought how many there. birds only right, ate right the nectar of flowers. And, um, no, they like no, they, really they eat lots of bugs. Eat bugs. Eat bugs. Eat bugs. Yeah. And like apparently my internet them, connection like, is uh, unstable. Fruit. Everything yeah. eat bugs. Everything. In fact, cool. when they're when they're nesting, they eat more bugs because they yeah. they feed bugs. Are you using for every, a cam camera and lens? Every bird feeds bugs to the babies. My uh, I I don't have a a a fancy camera. It's a uh, it's the most expensive um, point and shoot you can get. So wow. it's not a it's not a uh, 
a separate camera and lens. It's the uh, uh, Sony yeah. RX10 Mark IV. Sony makes a good camera, though. That's a one-inch sensor? It's a one-inch sensor. So I should uh, mention that next week, it is all things Carl with a K, so he say. <laughs> He's doing the whole round. After that, right. which will be uh, March 4th, it, um, I have Friday. Adrian on the map, and that's it. You can put me, you can put me down again. That's two weeks from now. By bad descriptions of them. Mm -hmm. So when, when, when Carl's on, will we be identifying things by bad descriptions? I have no idea Maybe. what Carl's no. going to do. Maybe. Would Carl, if Carl isn't going to, is going to be doing all of them, the rest of us have a chance to be on a winning team. With that. <laughs> <laughs> That's, not. That's a nice thought. Okay, so I, I'm not too worried about March 4th. I'm sure I can uh, find people, but I have uh, Adrian and Rob on there right now. So I need to end this because I'm going to try to get the video up. I hope you guys all have a great night. Thank you for coming. Yeah, oh, right. Susan, could, could you send, send the link for your podcast thing? I didn't uh, see that. That's fine. On my friend, yeah. it's, on my, it's, it's mentioned on my on uh, your personal page. Yeah. It's okay, all over good. It. All right. All right. Good night, guys, everybody. Good job, team. Good to see you, everybody. Good to see you everybody. I'll see you next Bye. week. Bye. 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 Bye.